Hello everyone. Good morning. Am I visible, audible? Good morning, Aditi. Good morning, everyone. So let everyone join. We will wait for one minute. Let all the students join. We will start the session. Okay. Meanwhile, you can give the confirmation if I'm clearly visible, audible, and you can see my slides also. Everything is good to go. Everything is damn clear. Okay. Everything is clear. Thank you. Thank you, Manoj, for confirming. Okay. So let everyone join. We will wait for a minute. And after that, we will start the session. Today is the last day of microbiology. So I'm going to finish everything, whatever is left. Okay. So after today's session, microbiology will be, you know, the super simple subject for you. And I challenge all the 13 questions out of 300 that you get directly uh, from the microbiology uh, that you are correct. Now, that will be from the sessions only that I can take the guarantee and uh, that will be correct. And you will be able to solve them. And whether the integrated question, direct question, image-based question, you will be able to solve that. 13 are direct, but if you include the integrated also, the count will be 25. And it's not a less, it's not, it's, it's not a less number. Okay. Okay. Let everyone join. Let's join. We will start. So till now we have completed the general microbiology. We have completed the bacteriology, immunology. We have completed the bacteriology and yesterday we have completed virology also. Okay. Gee? Two more sections are still pending. So mycology and parasitology. So parasito is still pending and myco is still pending a little bit about the clinical few questions. I mean, only one or two topics is there. So these all and uh, there are few topics which are left in the immuno, maybe transplant one or two topics and maybe sterilization I left here. So I will take that also. I know. So first we will finish whatever is left. So left out is parasito and myco, the biggest section. I know. So the plan is that in the first one hour or maybe one and a half hour, I know, I'm going to complete myco. Anna, maybe relatively in one to one and a half hour. Take and after that, we will start the parasito. Anna. So the plan is that till five o'clock, we can finish the parasito also in the evening. It's big section, including the lunch break and all. Okay. And um, after that, we will take the pending immuno and general. That will take one more hour. Okay. So total in the eight, nine hours, whatever. Anna, till what in the evening, but today we have to complete. We will not left anything untouched. So after today's session, you will feel like confident in the microbiology. So I guess most of the students have already joined. Can we start the session? Can we start the session? So you got my plan. So I am starting with mycology, the study of the fungus. Now, please listen. Mycology is a very small section. Mycology is a very small section. I will finish entire mycology in one hour. It's very small. Hardly I have to teach you 16 fungus and our total 16 fungus in your syllabus. First, I will let you know the classification and then one by one fungus by fungus we will take. Hardly we require three, three minutes on each fungus. They are very small, three to five minutes. So I have provided you these charts, Anna, <clears throat> charts of the fungus. So can you see uh, uh, the last uh, four pages of the chart? I don't know the page number. I don't have it complete. Can someone tell me the page number of the charts, not the main notes, the page number of the charts? So I want you to follow that last four pages, four fungus on each page. So in the last four pages, I have provided you the 16 fungus. Four, 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 four. Have you found it? Have you found it? I'm absolutely fine, Lalit, today. So, methyl pred ka kamal. I have taken the steroid yesterday night and I'm absolutely fine. <laughs> it was an emergency. That's why. <laughs> Otherwise, I couldn't take the class today. Hmm? So, methyl pred ka kamal hai. Main ho. Anyways, chalo. What? Yeah. Page number 15. Thank you, Madiko. So, page number 15, 16, 17, 18. Please see the last four pages of the chart, not the main main uh, notes, master charts. I mean, Anna, master charts may I want you to follow that. Anna, whenever I'm teaching you here, you follow. So four fungus here, four here, four here and four here. So total 16 fungus are there in our syllabus. Okay, G, total 16 fungus are there. We are going to finish that. Take care. That is the only mycology. Now, please, one more thing. I'm telling you, you are getting, Anna. Uh, like 13 questions from the microbiology. So take a challenge. Three will be from my co. On an average, three will be from my co. So it's a very small section, yet very productive. So in one hour, you are going to secure three questions of your, uh, the damn sure questions of your exam. So it's very important. Can we start? Hana, with this introduction, let's start mycology, the study of the fungus. Now we have studied the bacteriology and I told you the classification of the bacteria. So we divide them in four categories based on the gram staining. Gram positive cocci, gram negative cocci, you know that. Hana? 
basilli and gram negative bacilli we have already studied the virology also and we divided the virus into only two categories dna virus is the sixth family and rna virus is the 15th family now i am going to start the mycology the fungus hana fungus so first you have to understand the classification hana here also bacteria by bacteria we have completed our syllabus here also virus by virus we have completed our syllabus now first you should know ki fungus hook the kon kon se which are the fungus in your syllabus then fungus by fungus one by one we will complete our syllabus okay ji hai na so fungus mein i will teach you two type of classification the first classification is the morphological classification based on the morphology i will teach you we divide them in four category the second classification is the pathogenesis based on the diseases the fungus is causing hai na so here also we divide them in four category we will follow this classification ultimately and in this sequence only we will take fungus by fungus you got the overview hai na let's start fungus mycology okay let's start it so i taught you that i am going to teach you two classification of the fungus theek hai ji the first classification is the morphological classification we will take the first classification is the morphological and then the patho pathological so first see the morphological classification these are the four categories of the fungus hai na the first category can you see the first these are known as yeast what are yeast you will say ma'am yeast are circular spherical in shape and they divide by budding like this they divide by budding small small bud so learn two property they are circular i mean spherical and they divide by budding so any fungus who is spherical and divide by budding is known as yeast okay now look the third one first look the third one these are known as molds what are molds the shape is elongated not spherical the shape is elongated number one they have the branches they are elongated they are branching and they divide by hypi hypi formation these branches are known as hypi ha na so they they have hypi formation so here we have hypi we don't have budding we have hypi so these are spherical with budding and these are elongated with hypi samajh mein aaya so yeast and mold see the fourth see the fourth one dimorphic dimorphic is double naam mein hai di di means double i mean to say at 37 degree they are spherical i mean they are yeast and at 25 they become elongated i mean they become mold ha na so it is temperature wise they can be yeast they can be mold depending on the temperature ha na now i have left the fourth category the fourth category is yeast like i mean this is yeast like so actually why they are known as yeast like they are yeast but they look like mold mind my words they are yeast only but they look like mold look wise ha na so ye behrupiye hai ha na they are actually yeast can you see this is a yeast it is dividing by budding it is a yeast dividing by budding now you continue the buds so this is a yeast this is a bud again a bud again a bud so i feel like it is a mold but actually it is not a mold ha na so here also i can see these all are the hypi actually these are not hypi these are known as pseudo hypi because they look like hypi but they are not true hypi they are they are known as so you will say ma'am how we differentiate is it a true hypi or pseudo hypi see the true hypi so true hypi don't have constriction they are parallel they are parallel but pseudo hypi have the constriction in between at the junctions appreciate the constrictions if you get the constrictions it's a pseudo hypi not a true hypi how many of you got it i am drawing the four type of fungus in front of you you will tell me what is yeast what is mold what is dimorphic dimorphic ha na and what is yeast like so these are the four type of fungus can you tell me the features you people are there you people are not talking with me that's why i'm asking yes tell So Manoj, um, Arunanchalam, can you please tell me what is yeast? Say, ma'am, yeast is spherical and it divides by budding. So this is the property of the yeast: a spherical structure will divide by budding. What is mold? See, ma'am, mold is elongated. It is elongated. It's not spherical and it is having branches. Can you see the branches? The branches are known as hyphae. So here we have budding, budding, bud, and here we have hyphae. Here we have hyphae. Ah, na? These are spherical. and these are elongated ha na they are absolutely different looking only we can identify whether it is a yeast or a mold now the dimorphic is double ha na so basically they can be yeast they can be mold so basically at 37 they are yeast and at 25 they are mold have i written opposite or is it true i guess it is true 37 they are yeast ha na and at 25 they are mold so you have to you have to learn yes yes ha na so you have to learn like that ha na dimorphic what is yeast like so actually they are yeast but they look like mold they are yeast but they look like mold so what is the diagram so they are spherical only but they divide by budding like this like this like this so you can find the branches also like this you may feel it is a branch but actually it is not a true branch so you may feel like it is elongated but actually these are the multiple buds 
so we can find these are the hypes no these are not hypes these are known as pseudo hypes these are not hypes this is true hype this is pseudo hype pseudo hype have constructions at the junction i guess everyone got it so basically you should understand the fungus hai na dosti karo pehle sabse then i will teach you fungus by fungus hai na this is the classification nobody is going to ask you the classification they are going to ask you the example in each category so you have to learn the example in each category that is important okay so the examples are important so let me start with the yeast okay let me start with the yeast in the yeast we have only two example learn the two example cryptococcus and saccharomyces cryptococcus and saccharomyces are the two examples of the yeast hai na yeast like me only one example candida in your question if you are getting pseudo hype answer is going to be candida whatever the size of the question now this year only there was a big clinical question in this year fmg i mean the latest fmg so the students told me ma'am whatever was the question there was a big 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 clinical history but we were read the word pseudo hype aur aapki baat yaad aa gayi ki pseudo hype means candida yes pseudo hype means candida because only one fungus in yeast like category candida so candida whenever question will come on the candida you will get the word pseudo hype don't miss this clue pseudo hype means candida so only one fungus hai na in the molds we have five example you have to learn the five dermatophytes aspergillus mucor panicillium rhizopus hai na these are but the dimorphic are the last category you have to learn dimorphic you get many questions out of that hai na so um, dimorphic so it is blastomycetes paracoxidio coccidio histoplasma sporothrix and panicillosis so please learn okay thank you thank you dai and not only bacteria the complete micro will be like this that is my guarantee not only 92 you will get 100 out of 100 from my notes only that is my challenge hai na sab kuch covered hai all pyqs all expected question all image based question all clinical question you don't have to wonder here and there just read my notes that's it that's it okay blindly you can trust anyways chalo so this is the classification we have read this is the first classification okay the first classification is done so yeast yeast like mold and dimorphic okay diagram wise okay you got diagram wise i want you to learn the examples in the yeast we have only two examples what are the two examples people in the yeast what are the two examples see ma'am saccharomyces and cryptococcus crypto and saccharo ha na yeast like me to ek hi hai don't forget candida 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 you can't afford missing that ha na mold me there are five examples you have to learn the important one are dermatophytes mucor ha na panicillosis two more are there you please learn and in the dimorphic it's blasto paracoxidio coccidio histoplasma capsulatum these all will be the dimorphic ha na so please learn sporothrix theek hai ji ha na this classification wise you get the question okay classification wise you get the question here yes aspergillus is also there here okay so the same diagram can you identify the structure bolo ye kya hai you say ma'am it's spherical and dividing by budding so it's a yeast yes absolutely right what are these two structures what are these two structures both of them are branching both of them are elongated branching so both of them are molds both of them are molds so basically molds are of two type they can be aseptate there is no septa in them aseptate means no septa and they can be septate they can be septate they can have the septa but the branch is both of them can you see the branch let me appreciate you the branches you can see the branch here also you can see the branch here also the branching is known as hyphae ha na so hyphae is present in both of them both are elongated and can you see the structure the structure so it is looking like mold but actually it is yeast because i can appreciate the constrictions it is looking it is a true branching it is not a true branching it is a pseudo hyphae so this one is yeast like i hope you can identify the diagrams you can get a image based question on that but this classification wise you get many question but the second classification i am going to teach you two classification of the fungus na first classification we have already done now second classification the first classification was based on their shape yeast yeast like mold and dimorphic based on the shape we have divided now the second classification is based on the diseases what the fungus is causing the diseases pathogenesis there are four or five category For some fungus involve only superficial layer of the skin hai na the keratin hai na the dead layer the keratin of the skin hair and nails skin we have keratin at three places in the body we have keratin in the skin we have keratin in the hair and we have keratin in the nails hai na that is the dead layer we cut hair we cut nails we don't have pain hai na keratin the superficial layer if we scratch it out hai na thumb mein kabhi nikalta hoga aapka ya palm mein to we don't have pain because it is a dead layer keratin so disease of the keratin is superficial mycosis so there are four fungus which involve the superficial layer superficial superficial mycosis hai na so i will teach you here four diseases dermatophytosis tinea versicolor 
Tinia Nigra and Pedra. I want you to open page number 15 of the chart. Please mind not of main notes. Bhai, main notes ke nahi, jo master chart diye na. If you have taken the printout, you should have taken the printout. Hai na? Inke printout lena compulsory hai. So, iska page number 15 nikalo. Can you open the page number 15 of the chart? If you have it right now, please open it. So, four fungus. These four are given there on the page number 15. So, one by one, I want you to follow that chart only. Jitta chart mein di, I just learned that. And if you want to open the main notes, what is the page number of the main notes, people? Chart mate is page number 15. Main notes mein kaan se start ho raha fungus? Can anyone tell me? Help me. Main notes mein fungus kaan se hai? Kisi ne nahi khola vi? <coughs> From where we are starting? Page number 78, people. So if you want the main notes, open main notes. But my advice, the charts are sufficient. It's your choice. It's your call. Anna, so on page number 15, all four are given. Have you checked? Have you checked? All four are given. Dermatophy causes tinea versicolor, tinea nigra and pedra. Yes, all four are given on page number 15. So this is the superficial. Just below the superficial, we have subcutaneous layer. So there are four fungus which involve the subcutaneous layer, not the superficial. Superficial ki niche subcutaneous layer is there. So there are four fungus. Mycetoma, sporothrix, chromoblastomycosis, rhinosporidiosis. Please see page number 16 of your chart. The next page, the next four fungus. So I'm going to teach you all four one by one. Hannah, hardly three, three minutes on each fungus. They're very small, small, small. Hannah. Maximum five minutes on each. They're very small. Just read the charts. Anna, my guarantee the question will be from charts only. Okay. Whatever extra diagram bagra, you can draw there only in the chart. And if you if you want to name elaborated main notes. Khol lo. Theek hai? So there are two types of students in the class. Kuch bolte hai ki nahi, short me de do, kuch bolte hai nahi, pura hai. So I'm prepared for both the students. Just ko jo chahiye rakho. Ultimately, the knowledge is same. Theek hai? Anna, the ultimately you have to learn it. Se bhi learn karo. The same, whatever is given in the chart, the elaborative form is given in the main notes. So it's your choice, it's your call. Theek hai? Now we have seen the superficial four fungus, we have seen the subcutaneous four fungus. Ab all deep chale jau, deep in the blood. There are four fungus which go in the blood, which go blood, and they cause systemic multiple organ involvement. Multiple organ involvement. These are known as systemic mycosis, also known as deep mycosis. Deep or systemic is one and the same. So we have four fungus here histo, histoplasma. Blastomycosis, coccidio and paracoccidio. Histo, blasto, coccidio, paracoccidio, page number 17. So the four fungus, you can check. Four on 15, four on 16, four on 17. Hannah, four, four, four. Theke ji. And finally, so superficial is done, subcutaneous is done, deep is done. Hannah, four superficial, four subcutaneous, four deep. <clears throat> After that, four opportunistic fungus. What do you mean by opportunistic? They do not cause disease in healthy people. They do not cause disease in healthy people. They cause disease in immunocompromised people only. The person already have AIDS. The person have, due to any reason, the person is on steroid. The person is on um, uh, like uh, chemotherapy drugs. Hana. So immunocompromised people. So learn four fungus here. Candida, Cryptococcus, Zygo, Aspergillus. These two are also there but not important. So I will teach you four here. So page number 18. You can see page number 18, the four. Right. So these 16 fungus, four, 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 I'm going to teach you. Hana. The last one is the Mycotoxicosis that I will not teach you, just understand the meaning. Mycotoxicosis, fungus do not cause the disease. Fungus secrete toxin like bacteria and toxin cause the disease. So here the example is Aspergillus and Claviceps. Just learn it, I will not give the detail. So this is the classification. How many of you got it? How many of you got it? Huh? Any problem in understanding? So can you help me in the classification once? So the classification of the fungus based on diseases, the pathogenesis. So learn, learn the four categories first. Hana, the first category is the superficial. Theek hai? Superficial ke niche aata hai subcutaneous. Theek hai? Subcutaneous. Uske niche aata hai systemic or deep. Systemic or deep. Or last hai opportunistic. Hana, mycotoxicosis is not important. You can remove also. So tell me 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4. The 16 fungus in your syllabus. On four pages I have compacted. Okay. First learn their names. Sabse pehle to. So here in superficial I will start with tinea versicolor. Then I will teach you. Uh, tinea, nigra. Then I will teach you pedra and dermatophytosis. In this sequence on page number 15, I have given all four. Anna, coming on the subcutaneous, I will teach you another four. I will teach you mycetoma. Then I will teach you sporo, uh, sporotrichosis, sporotrichosis, rhinosporidiosis, and uh, one more we have here. No? Can you help me with the fourth name? Rhinosporidiosis and one more. What, what one more we have? Yes, yes, yes. So what one more we have here? Mycetoma ho gaya, sporothrix ho gaya, rhinosporidiosis ho gaya. 
what one more i'm missing chromo very good very good thank you thank you for probable for reminding chromo so there are four here in the so page number 16 i have compiled all for just now that system you can make some mnemonics also if you wish here histo blasto coccidio paracoccidio very easy histo blasto coccidio paracoccidio in the sequence only i'm going to teach you so four on the page number 17 and opportunistic i will start with candida then i will move on rhizopus then i will move on aspergillus and last is cryptococcus so i will teach you these four also page number 18 so four 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 i want you to learn this classification so we are done with the two type of classification of the fungus i'm com i'm summarizing please concentrate the two type of classification of the fungus the first classification based on the morpho the shapes morphology the second classification based on the diseases that is pathogenesis pathogenesis matlab diseases so here we have four categories one two three four here also we have four categories one <clears throat> two three and four so first here we have yeast we have yeast like we have mold and we have dimorphic and you should know the examples under each category Hello. and here we have superficial we have subcutaneous we have systemic yeah, deep and we have opportunistic so i want you to learn the examples fungus to total utni hai hai na is classification mein kaun si kaha hai is classification mein kaun si kaha hai so you get many mcqs on that many pyqs on that got it give me a thumbs up can we proceed Solve some questions on that. You will have a clue. Read, read the question. Tell me the answer. Which of the following fungus exists in yeast form at 37 and hyphae form at 25? So basically what they are asking, basically what they are asking, a fungus which is yeast at 37 and hyphae at 25. So they are asking you dimorphic fungus. So basically which of the following is an example of dimorphic? Open your classification and tell me the answer. Suji, absolutely right. Let me open the telegram also. <coughs> Okay. Yes. So, which of the following is it? Malassezia furfur, Cryptococcus, Aspergillus, or Histo? So, Histoplasma is coming. You can see in the classification. Here is the Histoplasma. You can see, and you can see other three. Other three be dekna hai. So, Malassezia furfur is one of the dermatophyte. It's coming here. Hana. Aspergillus is also coming here. Theek hai? And uh, Cryptococcus is coming here. So, you can see the other three are coming in other categories. They are asking dimorphic. So, only one of the option is coming here. So you will become double sure. So answer is D. How many of you are confident with me? Coming to the next question. Okay, next question. You get many questions. Many But you have many questions on the classification. So let's start the fungus by fungus. The 16 fungus. Five minutes on each. We will quickly complete it. Anna, I suggest you to open uh, page number 15 to see the four fungus one by one. If you want to um, uh, go with the main notes, open page number 79. So these four I am going to start. I will first teach you superficial. I will first teach you Tina versicolor, then Tina nigra, then Pedra, then Dermatophytosis. One by one we will complete. So let's start with the first one, Tina versicolor. Let's start with first one. Miri Bansunu, these four are the name of the diseases, not fungus. These four are the diseases caused by the fungus. Mind my words, these all are the name of the diseases. These are not fungus. These are the name of the diseases. Now tell me the causative agent of Tina versicolor. First, Tina versicolor is also known as Pitariasis versicolor. Write down other name. If I have not written, you can write down. Tinea versicolor, also known as Pityrosis versicolor, and it's a disease. It's not a fungus. It is caused by a fungus. The name of the fungus is Malassezia furfur. Or kaha pada hai Malassezia furfur? Day one pe I told you somewhere. Kahin to pada hai? I told you super antigen. Huh? Super antigen ke 10 examples. 10 examples mein 5 were bacteria, 4 were virus, 1 was fungus. The one fungus is Malassezia furfur. You can write down its super antigen. You can cross check. Yes, it's a super antigen. So, Malassezia furfur causes tinea versicolor or pterosis versicolor, one and the same thing. So, what are the symptoms? What are the symptoms? Number one, patients have hypopigmented, hyper or hypopigmented patches. Number one, hyper or hypo, mostly hypopigmented patches. Number one, number two, patients have dandruff. Number two, patients have dandruff. Dandruff is a disease in the heels. Dandruff. The dandruff is known as seboric dermatitis. What, what is the dandruff known as? Seboric dermatitis. So basically, it causes hypo hyperpigmented patches, number one. Number two, it causes seboric dermatitis. That is dandruff. That is dandruff. Number three, this infection of the hair, folliculitis, matlab hair, hair follicle infection. So this, this disease have three symptoms. Anna, maybe I have written the symptoms also in the chart. Okay. Okay. Uh, is my sound is not clearly audible? Let me check. My sound, Arshad is saying... Uh, the sound uh, is maximum from my side, I guess. I have to go otherwise in the settings of the OBS. Is the sound is good? What other people say? Hmm? Incoming voice is low. Is it clear? Is it clear, everyone? 
I guess you should reconnect. I should um, leave the class and I guess reconnect. May, there may be some network issue at your end. Anna? Okay, but low incoming here. Okay. I don't know. Uh, from my side, settings are not changed. Otherwise, I have to ask the team, technical team, they should change some setting in the OBS otherwise. If there is a problem, kindly let me know. If maximum students are feeling, we can do so. Otherwise, we will continue and break. Okay. So we have seen the first fungus. <clears throat> we have seen the first fungus, tinea versicolor, pterosus versicolor. We have seen the causative agent. We have seen the symptoms. How you make the diagnosis? How you make? You take the scrapping of the dandruff. You take the scrapping of the skin. Scrapping of the skin and uh, scrapping of the dandruff. You can take. And now, lab diagnosis. That is a specimen. Lab diagnosis, we will do two things. We will do three things. Tino percussion. Look, Tino ka diagram bhi hai. We will do three things. Number one, <clears throat> you do direct microscopy. You do direct microscopy. In the direct microscopy, see what you, this is malassezia furfur. See, 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 see what you are getting. We can see the elongated form. Can you see the elongated form is the mold. Elongated form, form is the mold. Elongated form is the mold. It is looking like noodles. Have you seen the noodles? I know, Maggie noodles. And can you see the circular forms? The circular are also, the, I'm getting both forms. I mean, I know, elongated also and spherical also. The spherical balls are looking, the spherical forms are looking like meat, meat ke pieces, meat ke small, small pieces. Fish. I don't know whether you have eaten or not eaten. Uh, the noodles are known as spaghetti. Anna? So the name of the dish, it is looking like a dish, spaghetti and meatball appearance. What is known as spaghetti? Spaghetti matlab noodle, spaghetti and meatball is meatball. It looks like a ball, Anna? meatball. So we can see the spaghettis, we can see the meatball. Basically the spaghettis are the mouths. And basically the meatballs are the yeast and we are getting both. So typical appearance, you get cushion on that spaghetti, spaghetti and meatball appearance. Meatball appearance is seen in which fungus? Answer is Malassezia furfur. Answer is this. Please learn. This is direct microscopy. You can get an image based question also. In the image, you should be able to identify. Say yes. Coming on the culture. If you do a culture on SD agar, for fungus, we always use SD agar. And a step the rod agar, SD agar. What is the appearance of the colony? I can see the colony. Have you ever tried uh, hatching an egg on a pan? Fried egg hai kabhi? So you can see it's looking like the egg. The boundaries of an egg. Hana? Egg on a pan. Fried egg. So it is known as fried egg colony. It is known as fried egg. In bacteriology also, yesterday I taught you one of the bacteria showing fried egg appearance. Can you help me? Can you help me with that bacteria? Mycoplasma. The bacteria which don't have cell wall. Yada hai kya? Mycoplasma. The selective media was PPLO. Mycoplasma PPLO pe fried egg deta hai. Hana or malassezia purpur SDA pe fried egg that. So we have two fried egg in microbiology. Number one, mycoplasma, which is a bacteria. Number two, malassezia, malassezia furfur, which is a fungus. Hana. So this is giving on PPLO agar, which is a selective medium. Yaanpe this is SDA agar. And both of them giving the fried egg appearance. Say yes, the colonies. Dono pe PYQ hai. Please correlate. Theek hai? Chalo. Ye ho gaya. The third is wood lamp. What is wood lamp? This one is wood lamp. What do you mean by wood lamp? Wood lamp is a lamp which is UV light. Nikalti. It's a lamp from which UV light emit. Hana? So that is a wood lamp. So don't take any, any sample. Just this is the dandruff now. Put, put UV lamp on that. So as, as soon as UV light will fall here, it will show the fluorescence. If it is having malassezia purpur, it will show the fluorescence. Golden yellow fluorescence. Because malassezia purpur is a pigmented fungus. Yesterday I taught you two pigmented bacteria. This is a pigmented fungus. So please learn the three, three things. Let me summarize. Tinea versicolor and tinea pterosus. Look at your chart. What you have to learn. Number one, tell me the causative agent. Is the causative agent? Who is the causative agent? Number two, you have to tell me the symptoms. Three symptoms. And number three, you have to tell me the diagnosis. Three ways of diagnosis. That's it. Three ways of diagnosis may be what do you get on direct microscopy? What do you get on culture? What do you get on wood lamp? That you have to tell me. And a question will be like this. So tell me answers. Chalo, fata fat. Who will tell me? Who is the causative agent? Tinea versicolor, pterosus versicolor. Causative agent kone? Say ma'am, mala sezia. Sezia furfur. Mala sezia furfur. Nami ta unique, you will never forget. Hana, please learn. Three symptoms. Number one, hypopigmented patches. Remember the diagram. Number two, dandruff. Dandruff is seboric dermatitis. Seboric dermatitis. And number three, uh, number three uh, is uh, folliculitis. Take care, chalo. Tell me how you do the diagnosis. Direct microscopy is very important. Spaghetti, meatball appearance. Okay, you get image also here. Image based question. Number two, culture pe kya milega? SD agar. SD agar pe kya milega culture mein? What do you get? Uh, you will get fried egg colonies. Fried egg colonies, you can get image also. And wood lamp pe you will get fluorescence. You will get fluorescence. Which fluorescence? Golden yellow fluorescence. 
बिकॉज इट इज अ पिगमेंटेड फंगस क्वेश्चन विल बी नॉट आउट ऑफ दैट अगर इस पे क्वेश्चन आया तो इसी में से आएगा दैट्स ऑल एवरीथिंग इज रिटर्न इन अच्छा कैन वी प्रोसीड टू द नेक्स्ट फंगस फंगस नंबर 2 16 पढ़नी है एक हो गई कैन आई कम ऑन द सेकंड से यस पीपल से यस कैन आई कम ऑन द सेकंड फंगस सो स्टार्ट द सेकंड फंगस टीनिया नाइग्रा वेरी स्मॉल फंगस टीनिया नाइग्रा अगेन टीनिया नाइग्रा इज अ डिजीज इट्स नॉट अ फंगस it's a disease it is caused by a fungus learn the name of the fungus the causative agent the causative agent is hortia wernicki what was the causative agent there it was uh, malassezia furfur here hortia wernicki you don't have to learn you have to pick from the option bhai option mein likha hua aayega a b c d you have to pick the hortia hortia wala ye hai hortia wernicki hai na what are the symptom only one symptom painless black non itchy patches painless there is no pain there is no itching there is no scaling no pain no itching no only a black color black color patch on the palm and sole on the palm and the sole that's it that's it and it's a spotter matlab diagnosis ke liye kuch khas nahi hai that's it we are done with second fungus coming on the third fungus the third fungus is peed drop fungus are very small small hai na the third fungus is peed drop please learn the meaning peed drop is a disease of hair it's not a disease this was a disease of skin of the palm this was also a disease of the skin hai na dandruff bhi tha aur skin so yahan pe skin is also involved hairs are also hair mein bhi skin involved ho rahi hai Hair is not involved. The skin of the hair have the dandruff, so it is a disease of the skin. Tinea versicolor, है ना? Tinea nigra is also a disease of the skin. You can see, but pedra is a disease of hair. Absolutely hair. There is no skin, no nail, only hair. So the hair will be like this. Let me tell you. Let me draw two hairs for you. So this is a hair. This is a hair, है ना? In the hair, black nodules can be there, है ना? This is known as black pedra. Uh, in the in the hair, white nodules can be there. white nodules white nodules this is known as white pedra so there are two type of pedra hai na black pedra white pedra black pedra this is a disease black pedra mein black nodules dekho ye black nodules hai hairs mein can you see the black 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 nodules or ye white pedra hai the white nodules disease is same the color of the nodules is different in the entire hair small small nodules are there you take one hair you get multiple not like nodular structure in the hairs multiple hairs hai na so that is a disease so black pedra you have to learn the causative agent gande gande naam hai but you have to learn chalo so bad black pedra is caused by uh, the name of the causative agent is uh, pedria hortia hai na pedra se pedra yaad aayega pedra pedria hortia lekin white pedra is caused by trichosporon bigeli i know it's difficult but you don't have to write if you ask me to write i will also do spelling mistake and all but uh, in the option we can identify it in the options we can identify utna yaad karo ki in the four option you can pick up that is the thing okay ji so what i taught you till now i taught you three fungus hai na tinea versicolor tinea nigra pedra you have your charts with you and you are marking in that tell me tell me tell me the causative agent versicolor malassezia furfur nigra hortia wernicki and pedra there are two pedra black and white the black is caused by pedra hortia only and uh, the white is caused by trichophyton uh, trichophyton bigeli say yes people say yes So what should I repeat uh, in pedra harsh? Pedra is a disease of hair, and there are nodules in the hair. The black pedra have the black nodules, and the white pedra have the white nodules. That's what I have told. That is the only disease. Got it, harsh? The causative agent of both of them is different. The black is caused by this. The white is caused by this. You have to learn the causative agent, the name of the two fungus. The causative agent is different, है ना? And the disease is in front of you. Got it? So black pedra have black nodules. The white pedra have black white nodules. so here we don't have diagnosis here we don't have diagnosis here but here we have three ways of diagnosis i told you ha na direct microscopy pe spaghetti and meatball appearance culture pe fried egg colony and wood lamp pe fluorescence but here we don't have any important lab diagnosis that i should tell you here okay got it okay nodule is irregular in pedra nodule is irregular means i didn't got your question i don't know nodules are regular or irregular i don't have any this thing like you are asking the distance between the nodules i don't have any knowledge in that they will not ask that i mean just learn ki pedra is a disease of hair that you must know and there are two pedra black and white learn the causative agent that's it don't go in the detail theek hai ha na whether the nodules are regular or irregular i don't have i will not bluff but i will not have any knowledge about that i will check i mean okay anyways coming on the fourth one dermatophytosis <clears throat> so can we go on the next one dermatophytosis the fourth and the last disease here ha na in the in the superficial then after superficial we will come on subcutaneous theek hai so superficial mein the fourth and the last fungus is dermatophytosis dermatophytosis so this was a disease of skin this was also a disease of skin this was a disease of hair hai na this causes all three disease 
skin hair nail skin hair nail all three diseases are there skin is also there hair is also there nail is also there theek hai so let me come on the dermatophore before that let's solve some questions on the these three chalo read the question and tell me the answer seborrheic dermatitis ka causative agent you get simple simple questions from the fungus okay so seborrheic dermatitis is caused by which agent but i heard i don't have time chalo jaldi chalo is it candida dermatophytes <coughs> cryptococcus or malassezia furfur obviously it's malassezia furfur malassezia furfur causes dandruff that is seborrheic dermatitis okay ji ha na read the next question fried egg colony on sd agar very easy question again <coughs> very easy question again so what is the answer here it's again malassezia furfur so fried egg colony on sd agar again the answer is malassezia furfur only okay malassezia furfur if i change the question to spaghetti and meatball would you like to change your answer no still answer is malassezia furfur if i change the question that fluorescent on wood lamp again the answer is malassezia furfur so you get all three questions on that let's come on the fourth fungus of the superficial mycosis and finish superficial mycosis so the fourth fungus is dermatophytosis the fourth fungus is dermatophytosis so as i told you hindi mein se kehte hain daad suna hai daad khad kuchli daad so it is known as ringworm ringworm so that is dermatophytosis again it's the name of the disease ha na these all are the name of the diseases you have to learn the corresponding fungus as i told you as i told you tinea versicolor the corresponding fungus is malassezia furfur ha na tinea nigra it's a disease the fungus is hortia verniki pedra you know the two fungus which is causing black pedra so here we have three different fungus ha na dermatophytosis mein there are three different fungus please learn the names of the three fungus The first is the Trichophyton, number one. Number two, Microsporum, number two, and number three, Epidermophyton. So T M E, you can learn. Hey na? Trichophyton, Microsporum, Epidermophyton. These are the three fungus which all of them causes the disease dermatophytosis. So dermatophytosis disease ka naam hai. Isi kitne daad? Hey na? And that is caused by the three fungus. One of the three fungus. You know, daad three jaga ho sakta hai. Skin, hair, nail, kahi bhi ho sakta hai. The the dermatophytosis can occur in all three. So basically, try. देखो ऐसे लर्न करो. Learn, try, try मतलब triple ना triple. It it causes infection in the skin as well as hair as well as nail. So you will not forget. Skin भी है, hair भी है and nail भी है. It causes disease of all three. Skin is everywhere. Skin में ये भी कराएगा, ये भी कराएगा. ठीक है. The second is microsporum. <laughs> in microsporum, skin is there. Skin is everywhere. But micro मतलब very small. Hair कैसा होता है? Hair is a very thin structure. Micro. So I remember like micro element uh, here. So skin and hair, only skin and hair because it is micro. And the third one, epidermophyton, you know, uh, skin and nail. So I learned the three causative agent. I'm teaching you dermatophytosis. It's the name of disease. It's not a fungus. So there are three fungus which causes it: trichophyton, microsporum, epidermophyton. Learn the name of the three fungus. Now you get many words in the mycology. वो तो learn करने पड़ेंगे. Either learn or make sure that you will identify in the option if you are not learning. So make sure you will identify in the option. ठीक है. So trichophyton, microsporum, epidermophyton. Try triple. It causes disease of skin, hair, and nail. Micro. It causes disease of skin, but micro means very thin. So it involves only hair. And epidermo along with the skin, it involves nail. Say yes. Yes, skin is in all three. Elizabeth, absolutely right. So this is how you can learn. And this is triple. Try, try. So all three are there, है ना? Micro में very thin structure that is hair और बचा जो भी उसमें नहीं. This is how I learned. ठीक है? You can make your way. So this is the uh, causative agent. Now let me tell you the name of the diseases. Symptom, symptom. सबसे पहले ले लो scalp, scalp, scalp. This is our scalp. In my scalp, I am having two things. Number one, my skin of the scalp. Number two, my hairs of the scalp. So there are two diseases in the scalp: the skin disease and the hair disease. है ना? The disease of the scalp is known as tinea capitis. Cap, cap से याद आएगा. We put cap on the scalp, ना? Capitis मतलब cap लगाते हैं. So tinea capitis. The name of the symptom, the name of the disease of the scalp is tinea capitis. <coughs> I'm sorry. Two diseases occur in the skin and two occur in the hair. है ना? Skin of the scalp and hair of the scalp. All four diagrams in front of you. Two in the skin, two in the hair. All four are in scalp. Scalp. That's why all four together known as tinea capitis. Tinea capitis is together. All four together. Say yes. What are the two two um, disease in the uh, skin? Skin in the skin we have carrion and flavor. Flavors. What is carrion? Carrion is a boggy swelling. Boggy swelling in the skin. Well, learn the word boggy. Boggy swelling in the skin. है ना? And flavors. Flavors is also a lesion in the skin, but it is not boggy. Learn the word crusting. 
है ना पपड़ी जैसा निकलेगा पूरा टीम पर्सन विल स्क्रैच एंड एंड एस क्रस्ट विल कम अगेन द पर्सन विल स्क्रैच एंड ए क्रस्ट विल कम क्रस्टिंग क्रस्टिंग लेजन है ना सो दिस इज बॉगी दिस इज क्रस्टिंग द बॉगी वन इज द केवी ऑन द क्रस्टिंग वन इज द फेवर्स से यस से यस सो केरी ऑन हियर द बॉगी स्वेलिंग एंड फेवर्स फेवर्स इट इज अ क्रस्ट लाइक लेजन क्रस्ट लाइक लेजन यू कैन लर्न ठीक है सो दीज आर द टू डिजीजेस ऑफ द स्किन नॉट टू डिजीजेस ऑफ द हेयर इन द हेयर Arthrospores are there. Arthrospores are the spores in the fungus, है ना? तो arthrospores are outside the hair or inside the hair. They get deposited. Arthrospores. So if they are outside, it's ectothrix. You can see they are deposited outside. And if they are inside, they are known as endothrix. So say the four diseases. Say, ma'am, tinea capitis. Capitis मतलब disease of the scalp. So we have two diseases of the skin, two of the hair, है ना? What are the two diseases of the skin? Say, carrion and pavus. and two diseases in the hair acto and endo acto and endothrix okay so carrion is a boggy swelling carrion is a boggy swelling pavus is a crust like swelling and here we have arthrospores outside and here we have arthrospores inside how many of you got it please learn it now this is tinea capitis now what is the causative agent <laughs> so i told you there are three causative agent now trichophyton microsporum and epidermophyton i told you now so you can see skin is there in all three here here and nail here only here here only nail this is how i told you so there are multiple this is the name of the uh, genera there are multiple species of t multiple species of m and multiple species of e so i'm telling you two diseases of skin and two of hair hai na so hair wala cannot be caused by epidermo let me tell you the causative agent i mean what i'm telling you here no what i am telling you here na is the causative agent listen 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 i want you to learn that carrion is caused by trichophyton kaun sa trichophyton trichophyton verrucosum it is a disease of skin na it is caused by trichophyton verrucosum and favus is caused by trichophyton schonchleni schonchleni just identify in the option just identify don't learn ki bhai ye kya hai itna so just identify option mein aayega tha ha na inke bhi causative agent hai you can see but don't learn pyq verrucosum pe aa chuka hai There is a PYQ on varicosum. Already there is a PYQ, so they can ask you again. I know. So learn the learn the causative agent. Can we proceed? Hmm. So you just have scalp hua. Body me har jagah daat khat kujli karana hai. We have to do ring warm, ring warm everywhere on the body. We started with scalp. Now let's come on the face. Let's come on other parts of the body. Let's come on the nails. One by one we will see. Scalp is done. In the scalp we have four things. We are done with the scalp. Chalo. Aage aenge. Tinea corporis. This was tinea capitis. Capitis is done. In capitis I told you four diseases. we will revise all in that theek hai tinea corporis corporis is any any part of the body which is non hairy you can see any part of the body which is non hairy ha na it is known as corporis just learn the side the next is tinea pedis naam mein hai pedis pedis matlab pair foot foot ko kehte hain pedia pedis pedis it is known as athlete foot so here infection the daad daad ring worm occurs in the wap spaces of the foot wap spaces of the foot pedis athlete foot Also known as athlete foot. The infection is in the wap space of the foot. The next is tinea crurus. Crurus का मतलब होता है groin, groin region, है ना? The area around the pannus and the area around the vulva, the groin region, है ना? It is known as joke itch. Can you see in the groin, in the groin where sweating is maximum? So in the groin region, very common, very common the ringworm, ringworm infections are there, है ना? Uh, because of poor hygiene sometimes and maybe due to sweating, है ना? It is known as tinea crurus. So you already have a PYQ on joke itch. You should learn that joke itch is tinea crurus. You should learn athlete foot is tinea pedis. Hai na? Just learn this is groin and this one is wap space of the foot. Okay. The next is tinea barbi. Barbi. You know barber. Barber kya hota hai? Who is a barber? Just a second. Who is a barber? The barber. Barber is the beard and moustache area and the males. In the males in the beard and beard and moustache, dadi or mooch wale area me. If the ringworm infection is there, it is known as tinea barbi. Tinea barbi. Barbi is beard and moustache. Beard and moustache. Tinea facie. Apart from barbi, any other area of the face, <clears throat> any other non-hairy area of the face, tinea facie. है ना? Tinea facie. The next is tinea imbricata. Imbricata is concentric lesions anywhere, but they are concentric, concentric, concentric anywhere. It is imbricata. है ना? The next is tinea anguium. Anguium. Anguium का मतलब होता है nail. So there is a ring worm. Dad hai, lekin nails mein. So it is there in the nails, not in the skin. It is in the nails. Tinea manum. The last is manum. It is on the palm. Ha na? So ring worm infection of the palm. So just learn the location, please. That's it. 
I have put the diagrams also to learn you. So I told you tinea capitis, then tinea corporis, then tinea pedia, cruris, barbi, fascia, imbricata, inguinum, manum. You should tell me the location where they are. So we get simple, simple questions on that. We are done with dermatophyte. Read the question, tell me the answer. Read the question, tell me the answer. Boggy swelling in the scalp. Boggy, boggy swelling <coughs> in the scalp is caused by. What is the positive agent, people? <coughs> what is the positive agent? I'm waiting. Is it trichobiton versiculum, candida, mycetoma, or sporotrichosis? So, bogey swelling is dermatophytosis. It is caused by trinia, trichobiton versus verrucosum. So, I told you right now to learn this verrucosum. Hannah, so we are done with these four. Anyone having any trouble with these four? Out of the 16 fungus, four are done. Okay, I'm starting the next four. So, I want you to open page number 18 of your charts. Atra number page, not 18, I'm sorry, page number 16. Okay, please open page number 16 of your charts. You will find these four. So I will teach you these four. Anyone having any trouble? So you are getting super simplified concepts in the mycology. Hana. So let's come on the next four fungus. We have seen the superficial now. Now we are seeing the subcutaneous. Hana. So there are four fungus. In all of them, the subcutaneous lesions will be there. Not superficial. No subcutaneous lesions will be there. Which are the four fungus? Four diseases. Mycetoma, sporothrix, chromoblastomycosis, rhinosporid. First learn the name. We will teach you senior chart also. Mycetoma, sporotrichosis, chromoblastomycosis, and rhinosporidiosis. I will teach you these four one by one. And now maybe the sequence, Joby chart me we will see the four. Okay. So all the four they will cause subcutaneous lesion. Say yes. Got it. Say yes. They all, most of them, enter in human body by root is different. In the nome root a thorn prick. I will tell you. Chalo. Okay. Got it. So can we go ahead? And now the four fungus. They all are superficial, not superficial. I'm sorry. Uh, subcutaneous mycosis. So let's start with mycetoma. Let's start with mycetoma. Follow your charts. Mark it. Whatever I'm teaching you here now, mark in your uh, chart or notes. So you will have a, a memory that you have to learn. Retention over. Mycetoma. Learn the other name, mycetoma. I don't know many likke di hai ki nahi. Jo bhi missing hai na, please write it. Okay, got it. Treatment drug of choice, please learn. I have mentioned it now. So please learn the drug of choice that you have to learn by yourself. In drug of choice of all the organism given in my chart, just read it once. Okay, ji, chalo. So mycetoma, also known as madhura foot. Have I written? Why it is known as madhura foot or madhura mycosis? Have you, have you heard about the madhurai? Madhurai is a city in South India. Have you heard? So first case was discovered by madhurai. Uh, in madhurai. First case, that's why it is known as madhura foot. Learn other name. Learn other name. Mycetoma, the other name is madhura foot. Right? Now there are three types of mycetoma. One is U mycetoma. One is actinomycetoma. One is botry mycetoma. Listen, listen, listen. What is U? U ka madhubhata is true. You come up with that true, true mother was asleep. Hana. So this is caused by the fungus. I will tell you the agents. Hana. Actino. Have I taught you yesterday? <clears throat> gram positive bacilli. There were six gram positive bacilli. A, B, C, D, L, M. Yad hai kya? Bacteria. Bacteria. What is A? A. Actinomycity. Yad hai hai? Do bacteria we have seen. Actinomyce and nocardia. Both of them can come under this category. Those who were uh, attending my yesterday's session. So basically it's a bacteria. Hana. So bacteria also causes this disease. But if it is caused by the bacteria, na, it is known as actinomycetoma. This is eumycetoma, this is actinomycetoma. I told you multiple uh, sinuses are there. If you press it, the pus will come, discharging sinuses, and there will be granules. So same disease is caused by fungus also. Got it? So eumycetoma, actinomycetoma. U is caused by fungus. Actino is caused by the bacteria. You will ask me, which bacteria? My answer is actinobacteria, actinomycetoma. Hana? And third is botry. Bottery is caused by Staphorius. Bottery mycosis is caused by Staphorius rarely. So what are the three types of mycetoma? Please write. You get many questions. Eumycetoma, actinomycetoma, bottery, bottery mycetoma. Say you, you matlab true. It is caused by fungus. TKG. Actino is caused by bacteria. Which bacteria? Actinomycety. Actinomycety. The two actinomycety. Actinomyces and nocardia. Okay. And botry is caused by staphorius. Please learn the three types. Okay, G. Now, what is the claim? Whether it is this or this or this. The presentation is a triad. The presentation is a triad. Whether it is a eumycetoma, actinomycetoma, or botry mycetoma. But the clinical feature is same. It's a triad. Clinical feature is same. Hana. So, patient have a tumor-like swelling. I'm saying tumor-like, not a tumor. It look like tumor, but it is not a tumor. Hana. It is a misnomer. It is not a tumor. It is known as tumefaction. It is known as tumefaction. Got it? Number one. You can see multiple sinuses inside that. Can you appreciate the multiple small, small sinuses here? Multiple small, small sinuses are there. Right? Number two. 
and if you press it the pus will come so don't say only the word sinus say the word discharging sinus they are not dry they are not dry there is a difference if you say only sinus it's not correct say discharging sinus the pus come out of hai na the pus and if you see inside the pus there are multiple granules if you press the pus will come and if you feel the pus inside the pus granules are there if it is eumacytoma the granule if you crush crush the granule it will have a fungal colony and a fungus colony if you if it is a actinomycetoma if you crush it there will be a bacterial bacterial colony hai na or botryma it will be step aureus colony so whatever is the organism that colony is the granule say yes you have to crush it and see say yes usually it occurs on the feet and they are painless they look horrible but they are painless say yes and later on they involve the underlying bone also underlying bone osteosclerotic osteolytic lesions in the bone say yes people what is the triad got it mycetoma ka triad bolo hai na okay we will revise theek hai we are done with mycetoma itna hi yaad karna hai is it given in your chart mycetoma elizabeth suji mega are you following my charts i forgot to take the print out yaar i don't have the print out but i know whatever i have written i have made only these charts now so i know i have written everything so in mycetoma you have to learn first the three types <clears throat> the three types introduction you learn other name okay you tell me other name number 1 hai na other name number 1 mycetoma ka you tell me three types with their causative agent number 2 you tell me the uh, diagno uh, this thing uh, triad you tell me the triad matlab the symptoms the triad of the symptoms so other name is madhura 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 put ya madhura mycosis the three types the three types is u mycetoma actino mycetoma and botry mycetoma u is caused by fungus say yes actino is caused by a bacteria that is actino wala bacteria botry is caused by staph aureus the triad you have to tell me triad may there is tumor like swelling number 1 Oh, swelling imagine the diagram swelling ke andar multiple sinuses don't say only sinus say discharging sinus to be specific they are not dry sinus they are discharging sinuses and if you press it the pus will come the pus is not only pus if you crush it you will get the granules granules have the colony say yes hai na so it's a spotter image also ek bar ye image aa chuki hai they ask you identify it's a spotter answer is my city too theek hai you get only these questions you will say now what is the diagnosis there is no diagnosis looking at the image itself patient ka foot dekh ke samajh mein aa jayega it's mycetoma hai na number 2 if you want to do the diagnosis the specimen is the pus you press the pus will come you press the pus will come collect that pus that is that will be your specimen and in that the granules are there now crush the granule and see if it is a bacteria or fungus or staph aureus based on that the diagnosis will confirm say yes say yes anything extra given in the charts not explained here you can ask okay apart from the treatment theek hai yes very good read the question tell me the answer all the state and what is the treatment surgery treatment is surgery followed by dapson what i have written in the treatment can someone read surgery followed by what maybe i have written something in the treatment no surgery to hai hi hai i'm damn sure followed by kya followed by antifungal which antifungal you can see i guess it's dapson but i'm not sure hai na so please theek hai okay antifungal so please any antifungal will work there is no specific where i have written anti ha uh, depending na uh, depending if it is you mycetoma you have to give antifungal if it is actino or botry you have to give antibiotic so first do surgery followed by the corresponding drug and there is no specific drug here okay ji can we go chalo read the question tell me the answer all the statements are true about mycetoma except tell me what is false tell me what is false people fast you have to coop up chalo you mycetoma is caused by bacteria is it true or false no it's false you you matlab true it is caused by a fungus surgery is a important treatment yes it's painless yes diagnosis is can be made just examining the lesion hai na lesion dekhte se samajh mein aa jayega yes so rest all are true but a is false <clears throat> so you get many questions on this concept come on the next fungus here i am teaching you four na subcutaneous mein hame char padhni hai so i already taught you mycetoma i already taught you mycetoma three more i have to teach you so i'm starting the second one chromo hai na then i will go on rhino or sporo poro trichosis and then last i will teach you right mara so let's come on the next fungus first is done coming on the second chromo subcutaneous lesion ha na subcutaneous theek hai yes so coming on chromoblastomycosis ha na the lesion the lesion is verrucous in appearance highlight the word verrucous sabka lesion typical hai wahan pe lesion kaisa tha imagine the foot ka diagram wahan pe it was the multiple sinus with the pus yahan pe dekho there is no sinus there is no pus but you can see the verrucous lesion it's a verruki 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 is there verrucous lesion you will get the word verrucous lesion so verrucous lesion matlab chromo and if you take the biopsy you will get this in the biopsy what is this see the diagram what is this what is this 
you will see ma'am i can see circle circle so what are these circles ha huh? you will see ma'am circle to yeast hote hain so are they yeast yes these all are budding yeast the circle but the point is that they are brown in color they are brown in color they have a pigment brown pigment that's why they they look brown in color they look brown in color they have a brown pigment in them so does they look like copper penny ha huh? copper ka sikka dekha hai copper coin kabhi dekha hai copper coin pehle zamane mein chalte the ab to nahi chalte ha na copper copper coin maybe you have at your home it's it's like a copper penny you can say copper coin copper penny so learn the word copper coin copper penny you get many questions from that this is known as copper coin copper penny the holma because of the brown pigment it is having it is yeast the brown color yeast the brown color yeast ha na it is looking like copper penny number 1 it is also known as sclerotic body isi ko kehte hain sclerotic body also known as medullary or muriform body so learn four name copper penny <coughs> sclerotic body hai na muriform body hai na and muddler body hai na muriform muddler are not very important but you get question on these two repeatedly so it is a hallmark of chromoblast mycosis so i suggest you verrucous matlab chote chote verruki ban gaya na medico so verruki yani verrucous so in chromo learn only two things do hi pe question aayega teesra question aaj tak nahi aaya so only two things you get the question number one verrucous lesion and number two copper penny copper penny if you take the biopsy of this if you take the biopsy of this you will get copper penny copper penny also known as sclerotic body also known as muriform body muddler body whatever so this is a diagnosis now here you can get a theoretical question you can get a image based question very frequently hai na and one more thing you can write it answers the human body by thorn prick shayad maine nahi likh diya to please write it down kaanta laga high laga hai na so thorn prick so jahan pe bhi thorn prick hoga it enters at that in that in that so usually it is very common in gardeners gardeners hai na who the person who do the gardening so you will get a question there is a gardener gardener will be a clue gardener will be a clue hai na so they are talking about some disease which enter via thorn prick so you can enter write down anywhere ki thorn prick se entry hota hai i don't know maine likh ke diya hai ki nahi theek hai chalo badhenge aage so we are done with this also second fungus read see what is this what you can see people what you can see say ma'am we can see the copper pennies these are the copper pennies this is the biopsy now you can get this image you can get this image this image the images are different but the uh, thing is same okay read the question tell me the answer there is a female okay take the clues huh? there is a female having thorn prick chalo sabse pehla clue mujhe mila thorn prick theek hai five years ago it's a chronic disease not acute chalo theek hai now she presented with slowly growing two into two verrucous lesion my second clue is verrucous and now the imaging is given to you i can see three clues number one thorn prick number two verrucous lesion hai na theek hai theek hai answer to sabko pata hai appreciate the approach chalo thorn prick ho gaya verrucous lesion ho gaya aur image mein brown color ka yeast ho gaya brown yeast ho gaya teeno ka combination answer is only one chromoblastomycosis so you get straight forward question maybe language is different clinical scenario is different but ghuma phira ke matlab itna hi hoga question sirf do hi cheezon pe aayega coming on the next fungus the third one hai na after teach you four we are done with mycetoma we are done with abhi kya padhaya chromo chromoblastomycosis and i am teaching you rhino now and after that we will go on sporothrix so coming on the third one rhino theek hai you can take any sequence theek hai chalo coming on the rhino rhino sporidiosis it is no more a fungus yes you heard me correct yeah fungus hai nahi fungus bachi nahi hai we have changed the classification it's a parasite So you should say कि मैं अभी क्यों पढ़ा रही हूँ? Why you are telling us right now? After mycology, you will teach us parasite to today. So you teach us there, but in the books it is given still in fungus. And now very recently its classification has changed. So इसपे सबसे बड़ा क्वेश्चन तो ये है. It is classified no more under fungus nowadays. We have changed its classification. It's actually its classification is controversial. Some says it's a fungus, some says it's a parasite. But now we are more towards parasite. And now which parasite? It's a protozoa. It's a protozoa. So please learn. There are two type of parasite. Now I will teach you protozoa, metazoa. So it's a protozoa, and it remains in the water. So it enters the human body via swimming. Stagnant water, not flowing. Stagnant water, and ah, so stagnant water will be. Via swimming, it can enter. So please write down the important. Yes, it's an aquatic parasite. It remains in the stagnant water. It's not a fungus. It's a parasite. Write down, please, if it is not written. So it enters the human body via swimming from the water. Now water goes in the nose. Water goes in the eyes. Water goes in the mouth. Wherever it go, it will make a polyp there. it will make a most commonly nose most commonly nose so you will get a question on the polyp maybe on the nose maybe on the conjunctiva maybe in the buccal cavity and anywhere maybe in the ears so polyp can be anywhere but the polyp is there the most important thing is polyp most common in the nose it can be in the ear larynx bronchus genitalia anywhere which part is exposed okay okay 
can we go ahead hai na so that is a thing so this is the clinical feature what about if i take the biopsy what about if if i take the biopsy okay if we take the biopsy this is the diagram <laughs> this is the diagram of the biopsy in the biopsy in the biopsy you can see spherules is the hallmark what is the hallmark word here to be picked here spherules spherules the hallmark word is the spherules here we have spherules what is spherule inside each spherule hundreds of endospores are there hundred spores and a dot 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 it's not very clear visible but you can see small dot like structures these are endospores the hallmark is the spherule we are done so what we have learned what we have learned in rhinosporidiosis <coughs> we have learned it's not a fungus nowadays we have learned it's a parasite hana we have learned it's a protozoa parasite it's the aquatic parasite we have learned it is it remain in the stagnant water we have learned it causes polyp most common in the nose but at multiple uh, organs it can cause and finally the diagnosis the diagnosis is made by spherule in the biopsy you get spherule spherule you can identify in the image also image based question inside the spherule multiple endospores are there can we proceed we are done with this also read the question tell me the answer rhinosporidium siberi that is the organism that cause rhinosporidiosis learn the causative agent rhinosporidiosis is caused by rhinosporidium siberi is it a fungus bacteria protozoa or virus what is the correct answer people yes obviously it's a parasite it's a protozoan parasite hai na it's aquatic protozoan parasite the correct answer is c hai na and you can get question on the polyp image based question hai na i have put few 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 prototype question just you you know sync up baki to tumhe khud karna hai jaake pure questions nahi ho payenge yahan but prototype i am telling you theek hai chalo the last one is this prototypes the fourth so we have seen mycetoma we have seen chromo we have seen rhino and now i'm teaching you the last one here the sporotrichosis the subcutaneous will be done and then we will move to the next category theek hai ji so let me complete the last one sporotrichosis let's start sporotrichosis quickly acha hai na it also occurs via thorn prick hai na lekin thorn prick kisi bhi flower ka nahi rose ka thorn hai na rose ka thorn so beware while giving or taking roses from anyone <laughs> if you have the thorn prick you can have this disease hai na so thorn prick so i'm trying i'm concentrating on the thorns not on the rose don't concentrate on the rose i forgot to put the image that's why i'm putting a beautiful rose but with the thorns hai na so thorn prick always remember it enters via rose thorn prick so you can get a question will be starting like that a rose gardener a rose gardener hai na so it occurs in the rose gardener specially hai na it can occur in the gardener specifically rose gardener so rose thorn prick you can write down if it is not written acha sporotrichosis is the name of the disease who is the causative agent causative agent kon hai it is sporotrix shanchi bolo 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 ek bar sporotrix dekho uska surname kitna badhiya hai shanchi pronounce karo <laughs> very interesting sporotrix shanchi please identify in the option hai na bolna nahi hai learn nahi karna hai spelling nahi learn karna hai just identify in the option utna kar lo ki bhai option mein dekh ke pehchan le so it is sporotrix shanchi theek hai hai na so it enters listen 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 from whatever point whatever point it enters in human body see whatever point it enters in human body number 1 it produce a ulcer there it produce a ulcer thorn prick say it is entering via thorn prick so whatever point it enters in human body it produce a ulcer maybe the hand maybe the finger maybe the leg maybe the foot whatever chalo it produce ulcer there after that it enters in lymphatic very unique it enters in lymphatic and travel along the lymphatic and at at, at certain distances it produce multiple ulcers it is known as series of ulcer So basically, it produces a series of ulcer, very unique. No other fungus do so. It produces a series of ulcer, one by one, one, two, three, four, five, multiple ulcers along the lymphatic. See the complete thing? It produces a series of ulcer along the lymphatic. That is sporotrichosis. This is known as lymphocutaneous sporotrichosis. A series of ulcer, a series of ulcer. Write down this word: series of ulcer along the lymphatic. Write down. If I have not written, please write down. Series of ulcer along the lymphatic. This is porotrichosis, very unique presentation, है ना? And if you take the biopsy here, biopsy is very unique. What is the biopsy here? The biopsy shows the star. Can you see the stars? Beautiful star, star, star-like morphology. Can you see this is star with a central hole? You can see, है ना? You have heard the word astrology. What is astrology? The study of star, है ना? These are known as asteroid body. Asteroid मतलब star. I'm correlating, है ना? Asteroid मतलब होता है star, star, है ना? So it's star, asteroid body. Have you seen a cigar? Cigar, है ना? Cigar, cigar का transverse cut is like this only. Cigar, not the longitudinal. I'm showing you the transverse cut. So also known as cigar body. So either you see asteroid body 
और यू से सिगार बॉडी इट्स वन एंड द सेम है ना यहाँ पे भी यू कैन अप्रिशिएट द स्टार्स अप्रिशिएट द स्टार्स so say the two names asteroid body cigar body say say so this is the thing so what we have learned we are done with all four from this by the way what we have learned we have learned this can you see we have learned this <clears throat> can you see this so we have seen asteroid bodies can you see the stars they are seen in sporotrichosis we have seen the copper panies also known as sclerotic bodies these are seen in chromoblastomycosis and we have seen the spherules containing containing multiple endospores it is seen in rhinosporidiosis these are your questions p y q is repeated multiple time either in in the theory form or in the form of the ipq everyone you can't afford missing this repeated question say people say respond say something appreciate my efforts theek hai hai na read the question tell me the answer asteroid bodies are seen in asteroid are the stars so stars kis mein hote hain the stars are seen in what's the correct answer what's the correct answer here is the correct answer is sporotrichosis absolutely correct it's sporotrichosis very good hai na asteroid body is also known as cigar body asteroid cut karke if i use the word cigar still answer is same it is sporotrichosis read the question chalo read the theory question there is a gardener chalo first clue i got gardener whenever a gardener come in the question na my mind thinks about the thorn prick so there can be a fungus which is entering from the thorn prick having multiple vesicle on the hand and multiple eruptions along the lymphatic along the lymphatic multiple ulcers multiple vesicles multiple eruptions so it's a typical 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 presentation presentation of sporotrichosis the causative agent is sporotrich shanchi sporotrich shanchi so here also the correct answer is this i hope everyone is done everyone is clear can we go ahead say yes people can we go ahead ha huh? can we go ahead i want to show you a chart you have to give me a minute and i have to share on the telegram a comparative chart i forgot to put it here i'm having in another ppt if you give me one minute i will open that ppt just a second just a second ha huh? i'm just sharing if i get it very quickly i guess i got it let me open let me share on the telegram and open on the system so we are done with four uh, superficial mycoses and uh, we are done with four subcutaneous mycoses also say yes we are done with four subcutaneous mycoses now are we done the four subcutaneous mycoses just a second ha huh? ah done i guess i want to show you this can you see can you see now you tell me so these are the four subcutaneous mycoses beautiful diagram just see it just learn it you get question on this only if you have your pictorial memory na take a snapshot not in your mobile in your mind and now you get all the questions of the four fungus from this either image based question or clinical question whatever so i taught you four four um, uh, subcutaneous fungus mycetoma chromoblastomycosis rhinosporidiosis porotrichosis say yes and now so see the clinical presentation see the uh, biopsy of each of them so mycetoma have you remembered the triad have you remembered the triad tumor like lesion multiple discharging signs having granules in the pus please don't forget it either a description or a image will come and i forgot to tell you you can write if you wish on biopsy i forgot to tell you the biopsy there please add it on biopsy you will get sun ray appearance it is known as sun ray sun ray ha na this is the fungus can you see the fungus the filamentous fungus ha na it's looking like the sun ray the bacteria also are filamentous yesterday i taught you the bacteria na kaun sa bacteria actinomycete i told you two bacteria are there actinomyce and nocardia if you remember i told you both of them are filamentous bacteria yaad aaya kya i told you ki these bacteria look like fungus but they are not fungus they are bacteria yaad aaya kya so in actinomycetum and eumycetum both of them the appearance is known as sun ray sun ray appearance hai na how do we draw sun we draw sun like this na sun bana hai ha my kid draw the sun nowadays so it's like this Ah, no, the sun ray appearance. So this is looking like the sun. Sun ray appearance. Got it. So please learn the sun ray appearance. Very peculiar. It's sun ray appearance in both. Yes, Elizabeth. So whether it is eumycetoma, actinomycetoma, or botrymycetoma, learn sun ray appearance. The second is uh, chromoblastomycosis. Learn the verrucous lesion. You can't afford missing verrucous word. Verrucous. See the presentation here. See the presentation here. Absolutely different. See the biopsy here and see the biopsy here. Here we get copper pani. Here we get copper pani or sclerotic body. Here we get copper pani or sclerotic body. Can you see it? Let me open. 
this also. Okay, can you see it? The third is the polyp, rhinosporidiosis. It always present with the polyp. And see, the biopsy shows the spherules having multiple uh, endospores inside that. Last is porotrichosis having multiple ulcers along the lymphatic. And the biopsy show asteroid body or cigar body. Asteroid or cigar. What do you see? See the four presentation and see the four biopsy. Absolutely different. Your 100% questions will be based on this. Now, whether it will be a clinical or image based question, I don't know, but question will be based on this. Got it. Can we go ahead? Haan bolo. Everyone is done. Okay. So let's come on our old PPT again. <coughs> so can you see this? Anna? So we are done with this, I guess. Okay. So before going to the next four fungus, we are done with eight fungus till now. Four plus four, eight more to do. So just now time laga hai, utna hi lagega. Eight plus eight, total 16 are done. Okay. So before going to the next, let me tell you something. Don't be busy. Be productive. Bahut choti si line hai, but bahut badi hai. Just think about that. Most of the people think that they are giving 15 hours for the study, 16 hours, 17 hours in a day, 10, 10 hours lecture, then 5 hours self-study. So, okay, you are very busy, very busy. But what is your productivity at the end of the day? Whatever you are learning, have you retained that? How much is your retention when you are sleeping, when you are going to sleep? So, whatever you have read today, if the question is coming from that topic in your exam, will you be able to solve that? 100% you are sure that is your productivity. So don't be always busy, but be productive. Whatever you are reading, learning, now, make sure that you will apply this knowledge in the exam. Anyways, let's move to the next four, next four fungus. We are done <clears throat> with the superficial mycosis. We are done with subcutaneous mycosis. Now it's time to move on the systemic mycosis, the next four fungus. So here I'm going to teach you the four fungus, histo, blasto, coccidio, paracoccidio in the sequence only. So page number 17, I guess, right? So I suggest you to open page number 17 of, of the charts. And it's very small, small fungus. These all are systemic fungus. These were superficial, means they were involving the dead skin. These were subcutaneous, they were involving the subcutaneous layer. And now the fungus is deep in the blood. Now let me tell you, in the systemic mycosis or in the deep mycosis, systemic or deep mycosis, I'm going to teach you four fungus. Histo, blasto, coccidio, and paracoccidio. They all are deep. Means they will be remaining in the blood. They will come in the blood. And from the blood, they will involve multiple organs. That is the meaning of the systemic or deep. The point is that they all, how does they all enter in human body? The root is common. They all enter via inhalation root. You can write somewhere. I have not written this in the PPT. I am explaining now. You can write this point. That these all four enter via inhalation root. Inhalation. Inhalation. They first involve the first organ lung. So via inhalation, they all will go in lung. So first organ involved is always lung in all four. Now, if you have chart in your hands, now if you have charts in your hand, see the symptoms. Anna, symptoms wala column hoga na, clinical feature wala column. So see the clinical feature column in all four. The first thing is pulmonary in all four. Highlight the word pulmonary. That's what I mean. The first organ is always lung. Have you got Elizabeth? Have you got the pulmonary? Hmm? Have you got it? Say yes. Just a second, huh? Hmm? So yes, pulmonary is the first organ. Huh? Now, after that, it goes in blood. And after that, from the blood, it goes to the multiple organ. In the clinical feature, you can see the other. Huh? Now, after pulmonary, learn the second, second organ in each of them. Don't learn all. Just learn the second, extra pulmonary. So they, you, will get a, you will not get a question on pulmonary on the floor. Everyone knows the first organ is always pulmonary. They cause the pneumonia. Huh? Now, after pulmonary, what are the extra pulmonary organs? Usme bhi pure yaad nahi karna hai. Learn the second, second organ of all four. That's it. And also, this is the clinical feature. I'm not going to teach you clinical feature. I have told you all about it. So let's start the four fungus one by one. Start with histo. Histoplasmosis. Uh, who is the causative agent? What I have written causative agent? Say, ma'am, histoplasma. Histoplasma capsulaticum. Have I written this word? Capsulaticum. In your notes, is it written? If it is not written, write down. Capsulaticum. This is the causative agent. Where it is written, write down. It's a misnomer. It is not a capsulated fungus. Anna, so you feel like it's capsulitic, it means it's capsule. Hoga. No, it's a misnomer. It don't have any capsule. So please write down it's a misnomer. It don't have the capsule. Wherever capsulitic is written, na, write down it don't have capsule. It's a misnomer. It was one question once a time. Anna, so please learn that. Learn the other name. Histoplasmosis is also known as Darling disease. Very beautiful name. Why Darling disease? Huh? Because it was discovered by a scientist. The name of the scientist is Sawmill Darling. That's why to honor the scientists, we named the disease as Darling. So it's also a PYQ and FMG only. What is Darling disease? Answer is histoplasma. It's also a question, which of the following organism is non-capsulated? One of the options is histoplasma capsuliticum. So but chungo laga ki capsuliticum to hoga hi. No, it's a misnomer. Capsuliticum is non-capsulated. Please learn. Hana chalo. Aajo biopsy pe. Clinical features are not teaching you. 
learn first is pulmonary second onwards you can learn hai na so this is the thing direct microscopy if you do see see what you get number 1 it's always inside the macrophage it's always inside the macrophage hai na it's not outside the macrophage it's intracellular histoplasma it's always inside the macrophage theek hai this is the nucleus of the macrophage now inside the macrophage can you see this is histoplasma this is histoplasma it's budding it's budding hai na here also it's budding so this is histoplasma it's budding it form a bud the base of the budding is narrow highlight the word narrow 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 where is the word narrow narrow based bud acha why i am highlighting the word narrow the first fungus i am teaching you histo what is the next fungus i am going to teach you after this what is the next one manoj rena what is the next it's blasto after that i will teach you coccidio paracoccidio wo theek hai hai na histo and plasma a blasto both of them are similar hai na this is also budding this is also budding but see i am drawing the two buds this is a bud here and this is a bud here hai na appreciate what you have to appreciate the base here it's narrow and appreciate the base here it's broad it's broad that is the only difference between histo and blasto the only difference the narrow base budding say narrow base budding and broad base budding narrow base and broad base please learn please understand meaning of the narrow and broad say yes ha huh? say yes everyone say yes so this is narrow this is broad narrow base broad base narrow base is histo broad base is blasto there is one more difference between the two histo and plasma blasto the biopsy feature i told you this one is always intracellular so it will be inside the macrophage this is an a macrophage and you get multiple histo it is not always intracellular the second one blasto is not always intracellular it can be it cannot be it is having double wall here we are having double wall apart from the narrow bud and broad bud okay narrow bud and broad yes so a very good elizabeth elizabeth is giving a mnemonic b for b you can learn blasto for broad so you will not forget ki blasto mein broad hai histo is narrow hai na you can also learn ki histo histo ka h aise likhte hai na aur narrow ko hi aap aisa h bana lo so you can learn like histo is narrow and blasto is broad you will not forget say yes everyone say yes acha jo hum 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 likhte hain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 how do you write 8 ha jaldi jaldi mein everyone write like like this we all write like this 8 but we it is not the way to write the 8 8 is written like this ideally 8 is written like this i know have you seen 8 hum aise likhte hain digital 8 is written so which of them is figure of 8 this one is figure of 8 or this one is figure of 8 this one so blasto ka dusra naam hai figure of 8 the blasto name is figure of 8 because it looks like it because of the broad base it looks like it say yes people say yes this is not figure of 8 tum bolo ki ma'am ye bhi to 8 hi hai hai na ye bhi to 8 hi hai main bhi aise hi bolti thi hai na but someone told me ki 8 is like this hai na so this is like this okay ji figure of 8 is blasto not histo okay chalo proceed so i am teaching you histo right now histo mein humne dekha the other name is thomal darling so it is known as darling disease hai na it is not capsulated histoplasma capsulaticum but not capsulated direct microscopy pe it is intracellular the first thing it is intracellular inside the macrophage highlight the word macrophage inside which the yeast is there which is narrow narrow budding base hai na narrow budding base so that's it read the question tell me the answer people quick जरा जल्दी बोलो आंसर जरा जल्दी बोलो वट इज द आंसर डार्लिंग डिजीज ऑब्वियसली हिस्टोप्लाज्मा ऑब्वियसली हिस्टोप्लाज्मा है ना डार्लिंग डिजीज ठीक है चलो द नेक्स्ट इज ब्लास्टो लर्न द अदर नेम्स ऑफ द ब्लास्टो ब्लास्टो अकर्स ओनली इन नॉर्थ अमेरिका नो वेयर एल्स इन द वर्ल्ड ओनली इन नॉर्थ अमेरिका यू नो शिकागो इज इन नॉर्थ अमेरिका इट इज देयर है ना एंड गिलक्रिस्ट इज ऑल्सो इन नॉर्थ अमेरिका इट इज देयर सो प्लीज लर्न द थ्री नेम्स नॉर्थ अमेरिका वहीं से याद आता है मुझे शिकागो और वहीं से याद आता है मुझे गिलक्रिस्ट gil gil crust hai na so these all things are same hai na north america mein hi chicago and gil crust hai so it is known as north american blastomycosis chicago disease and gil crust disease learn the other names please learn you get questions on north american blastomycosis theek hai chalo the causative agent if you want to learn you can learn ye to disease ka naam hai causative agent hai der blastomycetes dermatitis theek hai if you want to learn you can learn direct microscopy pe i already told you so it is also budding yeast it is also budding yeast but broad base highlight the word broad broad base you can appreciate the base here appreciate the base here appreciate the base here not only it is thick wall it is double wall highlight the word it is double walled also hai na in the real image you can see the double walled it is figure of 8 hai na it is known as figure of 8 appreciate the word figure of 8 hai na i have already told you read the question tell me the answer the question is not very good i don't like this question all the read so histoplasma image is given belongs to which fungus what do you say 
is it blasto or histo or coxidio or paracoxidio what do you see in the image in the image you can see the budding yeast and now if you see the buds are relatively broad base number one and a broad base the double walls is not visible but they are not intracellular so i will prefer i will prefer blasto over histo ab dikhne mein to histo bhi aisa hi hai hai na lekin histo is intracellular this is extracellular and it is looking like broad base ab bahut broad aur narrow itna to nahi samajh mein aa raha but still blasto is more preferred than histo so correct answer here is blasto okay ji chalo the next is the coccidio the third one so we are done with histo we are done with blasto the third one i am coming is coccidio coccidio learn the other name it occurs in california in california in california there are many valleys there are many deserts that's why desert rheumatism valley fever one and the same thing learn california california mein tumhe pata hoga na california is a city of valleys so that's why it has valley it is having many deserts also so valley valley rheumatism valley fever desert rheumatism california fever one and the same thing learn the other names ha na the causative agent is coccidiodis coccidiodis emitis ya coccidiodis posadaici they will not ask the causative agent ha na माइक्रोस्कोपी स्पिरुल और कहां पड़े स्पिरुल और कहां पड़े जी स्पिरुल वेयर यू हैव रेड द स्पिरुल्स वन मोर प्लेस राइनोस्पोरिडियोसिस यहां पे भी सेम स्पिरुल्स हैं द स्पिरुल्स कंटेन्स हंड्रेड्स ऑफ एंडोस्पोर्स इनसाइड दैट वन स्पिरुल कंटेन हंड्रेड्स ऑफ एंडोस्पोर्स इनसाइड दैट द स्पिरुल्स द लास्ट वन इज द पैराकॉक्सिडियोमाइकोसिस द लास्ट वन इज द पैराकॉक्सिडियोमाइकोसिस it is known as south america blastomycosis because it occurs only in south america the blastomycosis was in north america this is in south america and now you can see the causative agent microscopy pe you will get again budding yeast but budding is very peculiar have a look on the screen can you see this is a yeast everyone see this is a yeast see the two small buds two small buds ha na small small buds it is looking like mickey mouse is it a mickey mouse a cute mickey mouse ha na so this is known as mickey mouse appearance what it is known as mickey mouse appearance because of the two small buds here and if multiple buds are there not two if multiple buds are there multiple buds are there this is known as pilot wheel it's look like a wheel pilot wheel so learn the two appearance mickey mouse pilot wheel mickey mouse pilot wheel see the real image of pilot wheel so this is the real image we are done we are done so let me show you i want to show you a chart again mm -hmm. okay just just second give me a minute i want to show you the same chart comparing of all these four together i forgot to put in this ppt na no? i guess this one no not this one i guess it's there it was the ah this one okay can you see this can you see this chart ha huh? so i have already taught you the four ha na so we are done with the four these four can you see it now these four are your uh, this thing what do you say uh, the deep mycosis the first thing they all enter in human body via inhalation you have to learn they all enter in human body via inhalation the first organ is lung and after lung it is blood and via blood it spread everywhere ha na so histo i can see the budding yeast but a narrow but a narrow but a narrow bud narrow base and it is intracellular it's intracellular in blasto i can see figure of eight so i can see a broad base i can see a broad base in coccidio i can see a spirule i can see a spirule and here i can see either the mickey mouse or the pilot wheel say yes say yes the first organ is lung in all of them don't learn the mouth form the yeast form is okay to go mouth form ko learn karne ki zarurat nahi hai say yes people say yes ha na this is how we go so let's come on our old ppt only ha na and continue with the last four fungus the last four fungus so 12 fungus are done till now is it easy going till now everything is chill ha huh? zyada burden to nahi aaya so we are done with the four superficial comparative table is the best way to learn otherwise you can't learn the four superficial done the four subcutaneous done the four systemic done and now the last four opportunistic so let's start the last page 18 page number 18 of your chart ha na so the last four fungus i am teaching you and the last 15 minutes we will fact mycology so let's come on the opportunistic fungus what are opportunistic fungus the opportunistic fungus are the fungus they do not cause disease in the healthy individual they cause a disease in immunocompromised individual that's why these are known as opportunistic mycoses okay ji and a opportunistic so let's start the opportunistic mycoses isme i am going to teach you four one by one so start with candida then crypto then zygo then aspergillus so start with candida the first time teaching you here is the candida candida is the most common fungal infection in human most common fungal infection in human please learn whether it's hiv or non hiv the most common fungal infection in human is candida okay candida 
तो हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ कैंडिडा यू नो कैंडिडियासिस इज अ डिजीज भाई कैंडिडियासिस तो एक डिजीज है ना टेल मी द कॉजिटिव एजेंट यू विल से मैम कैंडिडा व्हिच कैंडिडा सो देयर आर मेनी टाइप ऑफ कैंडिडा कैंडिडा ट्रॉपिकलिस कैंडिडा गिल गलब्राटा कैंडिडा क्रूजी पैराफिलस है ना ड्यूबिनेंसिस विश्वनाथी देयर आर मेनी कैंडिडा राइट देयर आर मेनी कैंडिडा ओके Okay, so there are many candida you can learn. All these are the causative agent. These are the candidas. Okay, where does the candida come in this classification in the morphology? I told you at the starting only. The people who have joined late they may not know. Candida is the only fungus. It is yeast-like. Yeast-like. Me, one example is candida. I have chilla chilla ke bola. So it is the only fungus where you will get the pseudo hyphae. You know what is pseudo hyphae? It is not a true hyphae. It is a constriction. This is pseudo hyphae. So candida is the only fungus which will have pseudo hyphae. So whenever you get pseudo hyphae word in your question, mark the answer candida. Ah no, so you can say, ma'am, it's yeast-like, and that's why it is having the pseudo hyphae. What are the clinical features it causes? It causes four type of clinical features. In visit candidiasis, it it involves all organs of human body. It can involve any organ. It can cause meningitis also, encephalitis also, ah no, or esophagus also, mouth also. Yes, her organ. Technically, any organ may हो सकता है. So कोई भी question आ सकता है. It is not fixed कि मैं एक particular organ बताऊँ. Got it? Mucus, mucosal may. The oral thrush is there, है ना? In the oral cavity and in the vagina, the thrush is there, whitish thrush. It it is known as thrush, the white thrush. Cutaneous means skin is involved or allergic. So four type of candida is there. Lab diagnosis, lab diagnosis, direct microscopy में you will get the yeast and the pseudo hyphae, है ना? Basically these are yeast like, ना? C C C. You all can see these are the yeast. But what you can see, I'm drawing a structure. See, I'm highlighting a structure. I mean, ah, uh, can you tell me what is the structure I'm highlighting? Can you tell me what is the structure I am highlighting? Can you tell me what is the structure I am highlighting? Ah, uh, wherever arrow is there, I am highlighting a structure. I can see it's looking elongated, but actually it's pseudo hyphae because constrictions are very clearly visible. Please appreciate the constriction, Prabhengal, Elizabeth, everyone. Pseudo hyphae constrictions are there. So whenever this image come in your exam, it's candida. So I can see the bud, yeast, which is budding with the pseudo hyphae. You can understand that. So pseudo hyphae word is very important. So direct microscopy, learn one word. Pseudo hyphae. You always get pseudo hyphae. The budding yeast with the pseudo hyphae. Ha na. Coming on the culture on SDA gar cream colony. Nothing important. It will not come. It is having the cream colony. You can appreciate the cream color colonies. Ha na. So <clears throat> it is having cream white smooth colonies. Ha na SDA. And the last, the third one, test for species identification. What do you mean by test for species identification? What do you mean by test for species identification? Uh, it means there are many type of candida, na? Candida albicans is the most common. Al, ha na? Candida. Apart from that, we have many other candida. So how should I differentiate candida albicans from others? This is species identification, ha na? Most important candida is candida albican. Where it is written, candida albican, candida albican. Rest all are less important. So I want to differentiate albicans from others. Uske liye I am having three tests for species identification. I am having three tests. See the three tests I am having. Number one, germ tube test. Number two, Dalmau plate. And number three, Chromogar. I will explain. I will explain all three. I know. So let me come on the germ tube. You get many question on germ tube. Germ tube test, also known as Reynolds Brown phenomenon, because the scientist who discovered it is known as Reynolds Brown. So germ tube test, also known as Reynolds Brown phenomenon. See what you have to do. What you have to do? Take your candida. Take your species. I mean, this is my fungal species, my specimen. And it contains candida. I know that because uh, I have seen the pseudo hyphae. Is ki under on smear, on smear, on direct microscopy, I have seen the pseudo hyphae. So I am sure it's candida. That is not a concern. It is candida. I am hundred and percent sure. Ha na? But I want to know whether it is candida albicans or other candida. I want to know that whether it is candida albican or other candida. I want to know that. So what I will do? I will mix the sheep serum in this. Sheep ka serum, human or sheep ka serum, human or sheep ka blood. And I will mix. I will mix in the specimen, and I will incubate it for two hours. I will incubate it for two hours. After that, I will make a smear. After that, I will make a smear. And now, so if it is Candida albicans, no. So Candida albicans in presence of human serum, yeah, after sheep serum, us me se tubes nikalenge. Tubes will erupt out. The tubes, these are known as germ tube. No other Candida have the tube. This is known as germ tube experiment. And now, so if the tubes are coming after two hours. It is Candida albicans. If the tubes are not coming, it is any other Candida. We don't know which one, but it is not Candida albicans. So this is how we differentiate Candida albicans with others. So germ tubes are formed. It is positive only in one Candida, Candida albicans. Say yes, people. समझ में आया क्या germ tube क्या है? Take your specimen in which you are sure it's a Candida because the pseudo hyphae is there. So it is not a diagnostic test. Diagnosis is already there. It is species identification. 
whether it is candida albicans or others i want to know that so i will mix the serum what i will do i will mix the serum whose serum uh, sheep serum or human serum and after 2 hours i will incubate after 2 hours what i will do i will make a smear in the smear if candida albicans is there i can see many of them the tube has erupted out this is known as germ tube experiment it is present only in albicans not just us germ tube experiment also known as renault brown isse bada question aata hai so this is how we differentiate the albicans from others germ tube experiment okay ji everyone got one more experiment is there also known as dalmau plate dalmau plate and corn meal do you eat corn bhutta bolte hain hindi mein i love corn ha huh? corn pasand hai tumhe candida albicans ko bhi bada pasand hai mere jaise ha na so candida albicans love the corn so what do you take do take a sd agar ha na simple sd agar add corn in that corn meal corn meal commercially available ha na apne ghar ka bhutta mat le jana corn meal commercially available so it is known as corn meal agar so it is known as corn meal agar it contains the corn corn meal ha na and try growing candida in that whatever candida you have i am not sure whether it is other candida or candida albicans but it is candida i am sure so try to grow the candida on your corn meal agar not on simple as simple as da try to grow it on grow on corn meal if it is candida albicans now after eating the corn it will convert into chlamydospores the candida will convert into chlamydospores other candida will not convert so this is known as dalmau plate dalmau se kya yaad aana chahiye corn meal also known as corn meal agar experiment corn meal agar experiment ha na so by this the two experiment we can sure whether it is candida albicans or others and the third and the last is chrome chrome ka matlab hi hota hai colors so it's a agar which give different color to different candida different color so based on the color you can i don't know the exact coding that which color means which candida but different colors have different candida so based on the color you can identify which of them is candida albicans so there are three ways to differentiate albicans from others it is known as species identification species identification what are the three ways people i'm trying very hard ha huh, to explain you theek hai what are the three ways the first is germ tube experiment germ tube experiment also known as renold brown experiment theek hai second is corn meal experiment corn meal experiment also known as dalmau dalmau plate experiment hai na and third is chrome 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 matlab color and you got it hai na so shall i repeat or you got it what we are doing so this one is positive only in candida albicans not others the tubes will erupt this one is also positive only in candida albicans not in others i mean the candida albicans convert into chlamydospore and chrome me different colors okay so this is the candida read the question tell me the answer we are done with candida chalo fast fast okay chalo bolo jaldi batao so read the question there is a patient take the clues okay age is not given gender is not given there is a patient having dysphagia what is dysphagia difficulty in swallowing dysphagia so there may be some problem in the esophagus endoscopy shows esophageal candidiasis have i taught you candida can occur in any organ from head to toe it is in esophagus it can be anywhere it is invasive and, and, and uh, candidiasis okay the esophagus is involved you don't have to make the diagnosis diagnosis is given to you it's candida ha na uh the organism was sampled and cultured on a special media we don't know special media the image of which is given to you special media some special media we don't know which phenomenon is shown so in the image what you can see in the image i can see small small uh yeast are there from that some tube like structure is coming out some tube like appreciate the tube like structure so basically it is a germ tube experiment we are conducting in candida the diagnosis is given to you candida ha na so my answer is germ tube experiment ठीक है सो दिस इज द वे वी डील विद द क्वेश्चन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ए एंड यू ऑल आर करेक्ट वेरी गुड वेरी गुड है ना सो यू गेट क्वेश्चन ऑन सूडो हाइफी आल्सो मैंने वो क्वेश्चन डाला नहीं है बट यू फ्रीक्वेंटली गेट क्वेश्चन ऑन द सूडो हाइफी सो कमिंग ऑन द सेकंड फंगस वी हैव टू स्टडी फोर लास्ट फोर उसमें से एक हो गई थ्री मोर टू गो थ्री मोर टू गो सो द सेकंड इज द क्रिप्टोकोकस आई एम टीचिंग यू क्रिप्टोकोकस है ना मैंने 16 फंगस पढ़ाई ना द 16 आई विल टीच यू टोटल टुडे 4444 क्रिप्टोकोकस इज द ओनली कैप्सुलेटेड फंगस है ना क्रिप्टोकोकस इज द ओनली सो लर्न इट इज द ओनली कैप्सुलेटेड फंगस द कैप्सूल इज मेड अप ऑफ पॉलीसेकराइड ओनली लाइक ऑल कैप्सूल्स सो यस्टरडे आई टॉट यू कैप्सुलेटेड ऑर्गेनिजम्स हाउ मेनी कैप्सुलेटेड बैक्टीरियाज यू नो नाइन बोल बोल के मैं थक गई कितने होते हैं नाइन यस वेरी किलर बैक्टीरिया हैव प्रीटी नाइस कैप्सूल है ना बी डबल होता है सो इफ यू से द बैक्टीरिया दे आर नाइन एंड इफ यू से मैम ऑल ऑर्गेनिज्म तो सी को भी डबल कर दो है ना ठीक हो भी वन इज क्लोस्ट्रीडियम एंड वन इज दिस तुम्हारा क्रिप्टोकोकस सो टोटल टेन ऑर्गेनिजम मैंने वहां भी बताया था नाइन बैक्टीरिया है वन फंगस टोटल टेन ऑर्गेनिज्म नाइन प्लस वन यस या टोल्ड यू सो क्रिप्टोकोकस इज द ओनली कैप्सुलेटेड फंगस प्लीज लर्न 
बेस्ड ऑन द कैप्सूल इट इज ऑफ फोर टाइप्स जब भी कैप्सूल आए तो टाइप्स बताओ ए बी सी डी है ना इट इज ऑफ फोर टाइप्स बेस्ड ऑन द कैप्सूल इट इज ऑफ फोर टाइप्स सो फॉर डायग्नोसिस वी डू नेगेटिव स्टेन इंडिया इंक फॉर ऑल कैप्सुलेटेड ऑर्गेनिज्म वी डू इंडिया इंक ना मैंने बताया होगा व्हेनेवर आई टॉट यू इंडिया इंक नेगेटिव स्टेन इन व्हिच वी स्टेन द बैकग्राउंड नॉट द ऑर्गेनिज्म यू कैन सी द ऑर्गेनिज्म इज स्टैंडिंग आउट the organism is standing out in the black background you can see we are staining the background not the organism so negative stain is done for the capsulated organism so diagnosis kis se karte hain negative stain se bas itna hi hai candida mein do cheez yaad rakhna hai it is capsulated fungus based on the capsule it is of four type a b c d a most common hota hai hai na and usko demonstration ke liye we use negative stain negative stain is india ink or negro sun okay got it bas ye do hi cheeze aayengi so read the question tell me the answer The image given below is of which organism? Can you identify the organism? The image given below is of which organism? So obviously you can see here all four are fungus, and in the image I can see the image is negative stain because the background is black but the fungus is not black, and I can see the capsules very well. These all are capsules. These all are capsules. I can see the capsules very well. So this one is Cryptococcus. This one is Cryptococcus. It is a capsulated fungus. Okay. The last two I am teaching you together now. So we are done with Candida, ठीक है? We are done with the क्या पढ़ा है अभी? Cryptococcus. The last two, Zygomycosis and Aspergillus. ठीक है? Zygomycosis and Aspergillus. So let me give you an overview of the two together. फिर हम डिटेल देखते हैं. Zygomycosis and Aspergillus. ठीक है? Zygomycosis and Zygomycosis and uh, the last one is Aspergillus. So I mean you will get other other features also, ना? It is not the thing they will give you just image. In the options you have to see, you have to see other clinical features also, है ना? So carom coin appearance was there on the blood agar, if you remember. This is direct microscopy. वो blood agar था. Agar पे carom coin था. यहाँ पे ये carom coin नहीं है. It's a capsule which is the negative background. वहाँ पे blood agar पे था. They are absolutely different. है ना? Looking wise you may be thinking कि same है, है ना? लेकिन question will be not like this. ठीक है? चलो. Zygomycosis, Aspergillus. Aspergillus. ठीक है जी. So let me tell you the last two fungus. Zygomycosis में there are two, two, two zygo, है ना? So यहाँ पे आएगा दो fungus आएंगे, एक mucor और दूसरा rhizopus, rhizopus. These two fungus come under zygomycosis. Aspergillus में there are three type of aspergillus. Aspergillus fumigatus, fumigatus, है ना? मैं पूरा नहीं लिख रही. Aspergillus flavus, flavus, है ना? और Aspergillus niger, Aspergillus niger. So there are two type of zygo, three type of aspergillus. पहली thing. पहली थिंग, the second thing, both of them are mouths, both of them are mouths. Heard my name, heard my word. So check the classification. जहाँ पे mycology start हो रहा है ना, I told you four type of fungus, yeast, yeast like, mouth and dimorphic. Check in the mouth. Mouth are elongated. Some of them are septate, some of them are non-septate, aseptate. Have I taught you? So both of them are mouths. You can check, you can check there. In the classification, I have told you zygo b, aspergillus b. It will be there. Zygo me mucor I have written, है ना aspergillus. Both of them are mouths. So let me draw out the diagram of both. So let me draw the diagram of zygo. It is a mouth like this. Let me draw, then I will explain the differences between the two. You have to learn basically the differences between the two. ठीक है? Learn this, and here it's it's like this. You will tell the difference. You will tell the difference. And now three differences are there. You will tell the difference. See the diagram of the both. Beautifully, I have I have drawn. If you wish, you can also draw. Number one, you will say that broad. Here the hyphae is broad. See the hyphae. And here the hyphae is narrow. Say, ma'am, broad hyphae. Write down broad hyphae. Write down narrow hyphae. Write down narrow hyphae. Say yes, broad hyphae, narrow hyphae. Number one. Number two, see the angle of the branching. Here the angle is obtuse or it is broad. Here angle is typically 45 degree or acute. 45 degree or acute. So angle is also broad. Hyphae is also broad. Angle of branching is also obtuse or broad. Here the angle is acute. Acute branching. Or you can write 45 degree in the bracket for just for learning. They are typical. Dikh raha hai meri piche hai. So these are typical 45 degree. Please learn. Hana? These are 45 degree. And the last difference. This is aseptate. There are no septa. This is aseptate. Hana? Yaan pe septa mujhe nahi mil raha. This one is typically septate. You can see the septate. I'm giving you time. If you want to draw, please draw. You get question on this only. But ये तीन difference. See the three difference. See the three difference. This is zygo. This is aspergillus. Okay, ji, got it, huh? Yes. So please learn the three differences. You have drawn. Can I flip this page? Have you drawn? Say yes. Can I flip this page? It will not come again. Can I flip? Show you the theory. We are ending mycology fast. 
Okay, everyone is okay. Okay, let's let me flip that. Okay, so zygomycosis. We have seen these are aseptate number one, है ना? And there are two fungus here, rhizopus and mucor. Rhizopus and mucor. Clinical feature, mucor का. Rhizopus important नहीं है. Mucor का clinical feature. You may be have seen ना? अभी COVID में, post COVID, सबसे बड़ा complication क्या आया? COVID में. Post COVID, most common complication is the fungal involvement of the eye, है ना? Orbital cellulitis and the fungus was entering in the brain. You may have many cases. We have seen many cases in our hospital because in COVID, what we give the treatment in COVID, we give the treatment as steroid, long courses of steroid. Because of the steroid, there is immunosuppression. There is immunosuppression. And now immunosuppression is there, and these are opportunistic fungus. They occur in immunocompromised people, not in healthy people. So after the COVID, most common fungus is mucormycosis. Mucormycosis is involvement of the orbit, most common cause of orbital cellulitis. So ये यहाँ का ये हो गया आपका. I mean uh, the clinical feature. I know after that many other organs are also involved, but most common is orbit. Learn the most common organ. Second ke baad theek hai, but learn the most common organ. I know you can see the diagnosis. Diagnosis is direct staining. Can you see where is the fungus? Can you see the black color? Molds. Appreciate the mold. I'm highlighting with red color. See, appreciate this mold. I want you to appreciate this. I want to appreciate the branching also. I want you to appreciate these are uh, non uh, uh, septate. Appreciate. They are broad. Appreciate the branching. The branching is obtuse. Say yes, and appreciate they are non-septic. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. You can see these are aseptic. These are broad. Okay, and the branching is also obtuse. Okay, G. Anna. So that is the thing. Now compare the two. Compare the two. I have already drawn this diagram for you. This one is aspergillus. Aspergillus that I'm going to teach you next. And this one is uh, this zygo. 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 Me dono aagar. Mucor or um, rhizopus. Anna. You can appreciate, I know the same thing I have shown you there also. You can see the angle here, I know. You can see the angle here, angle here, I know. You can see this one is broad. You can see these are narrow. ठीक है? You can see यहाँ पे septa बहुत अच्छी तो नहीं दिख रहे, but this one is septate. But clearly this one is non-septate. Okay, okay जी. So can we go ahead? I know. So you can see the differences. Okay, culture you can learn. So you may ask कि ma'am how to differentiate rhizopus and mucor? Both of them are zygo. We got it. Both of them morphologically like this. Zygo bhi yehi hai, mucor bhi yehi hai. That, that, microscopically you cannot differentiate the two. But on culture, on SDA you can differentiate. So you can see both of them are SDA culture. SDA pe culture kar lo. So rhizopus will show salt and salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Namak aur kali mirch kabhi mix kiya hai? White, black, white, black. The, the, the appearance is white, black, white, black like that. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper appearance. Learn this word. Learn this word. Hai na? And mucor mein it is white woolly colony. Only white woolly. So here salt and pepper, salt and pepper appearance, and here woolly, white woolly colony, white woolly colony. So based on which you can differentiate the two. We are done. Read the question. Tell me the answer. Which of the following organism is responsible for orbital cellulitis in a diabetic ketoacidosis? Especially diabetic people, more common is the complication. So of course the answer is mucor. Mucor mycosis most commonly causing orbital cellulitis. Okay, mucor is the answer. So coming on the last fungus, aspergillus. I have already explained you aspergillus. Aspergillus is of three types. I mean there are many types, but three are important in our syllabus. So aspergillus fumigatus, flavors, and Niger. Aspergillus fumigatus, flavors, and Niger. Direct microscopy. I explained you many times. You can see the narrow hyphae, the narrow branching, acute angle branching, and septa. Highlight the three things. Highlight the three things. Okay, got my point. You can highlight the three things. You can see the narrow branching. Okay, you can appreciate the width is also narrow, and you can appreciate this is septate. It is septate. I know this. I have already explained you. Read the question. Tell me the answer. Identify the fungal organism shown on the gummery stain. So identify. Can you do the identification for me, please? Can you do? You can see the branching is very narrow. The branching is very narrow. I know acute angle, and if you see it closely by zooming it, you can appreciate the septa also, and you can see the branching is not. The width is also narrow. So of course, first decide what is it. Is it acute angle or right angle? Of course, it's not right angle. It's acute. So acute me you have two options. Dono me se kya opt karoge? Acute me first option is rhizopus or acute me one option is aspergillus. Obviously, rhizopus is never acute. And it is aspergillus. So answer is C. Based on which we will go with C. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bilal, for the compliment. Thank you. So I hope everyone is confident now. Thank you so much. Okay. 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 So can we move ahead? So we are done with Maiko. We are done with Maiko. How much time it take? I guess it is nearly one hour forty-five minutes.
so i thought i will be able to complete in one hour 30 minute approx we have completed okay okay so we have completed entire my go we have completed entire my go and uh, let me start the parasito now okay so before going to the parasito let me tell you something dreams don't work unless and do unless you do we all dream we all dream we all dream you want to do this you want to do this you want to do this in your life we all but how many of you actually work for your dream ana so dream will come true only when you get up in the morning and start working every day on your dream definitely your dreams will come true ana sapne se dekhna nahi hota hai sapno ke liye kaam karna padta hai and have you heard na ki uh, uh, abdul kalam have said a very good proverb dreams are not those which we see when we sleep dreams are those which make us not to sleep है ना जो हमें जगाए रखते हैं वो सपने हैं जो सोते हुए हम देखते हैं वो सपने नहीं है वी नो ओके चलो सो लेट्स कम दिस इज एनोटेटेड वन लेट मी सेव द एनोटेटेड वन आई गेस इट इज इन कंटिन्यूटी जस्ट अ सेकंड सो लेट मी स्टार्ट विद द पैरासाइकोलॉजी ओके सो लेट मी स्टार्ट विद द पैरासाइकोलॉजी सो आर यू पीपल देयर फुल चार्ज अप कैन वी कंटिन्यू विद द पैरासाइको ब्रेक आई विल गिव यू एट 12:15 and uh so maybe around 12:15 or 12:20 like yesterday we will take a break till a long break till 1:30 the lunch break whatever break you say breakfast plus lunch the combo break and a bada break wahan lenge one break only theek hai chalo let's complete okay no short break let's continue now today is the last day i have to complete parasito abhi parasito mein mujhe 4 ghante chahiye 4 hours active without break hai na to ja ke i will be able to complete 4 or 4 and a half hour uske baad 1 hour for the pending topic पेंडिंग में स्टरलाइजेशन इज देयर एंड इम्यूनिटी की कुछ टॉपिक्स हैं तो वन आवर्स तो टोटल फाइव एक्टिव आवर्स और मैं जितना सोचती हूँ ना उससे ज्यादा ही होता है हमेशा सो so, देखो यहाँ पे भी आई थॉट कि वन एंड हाफ आवर लेकिन एक्सपांड तो मैं पांच घंटे सोच रही हूँ मे बी फाइव टू सिक्स आवर्स भी रिक्वायर एक्टिव विदाउट ब्रेक नो यू डू द कैलकुलेशन यू डू द कैलकुलेशन वी विल टेक अ लंच ब्रेक ऑल्सो वी विल टेक स्मॉल स्मॉल कॉफी ब्रेक ऑल्सो है ना सो टिल वॉट द क्लास विल एक्सटेंड ठीक है सो आई डो नॉट वॉन्ट टू स्किप एनी थिंग सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू ना क्या ब्रेक चलो अनकंफर्टेबल ठीक है so why you are not comfortable you can have a cup of coffee or a tea while watching the lecture you have the privilege i don't have that but you have that ha huh? so you can have a cup of coffee or a tea while watching only okay chalo so can we continue parasito yes you have to continue the parasito like fungus only so i mean it's it's up to you if you want the uh, elaborated notes tell me the page number and if you want the charts tell me the page number चार्ट्स का भी पेज नंबर बताओ और इलोबरेटिव नोट्स जो हैं लॉन्ग नोट्स जो है मेरे उसमें एंड में पैरासाइट हो एंड में आई गेस पेज नंबर 90 ऑनवर्ड्स होगा 90 या कहीं पर होगा लास्ट के 20 15 20 पेजेस आर देयर तो टेल मी द पेज नंबर ऑफ बोथ ऑफ देम चार्ट में पेज नंबर पेज नंबर 2 हियर इट इज पेज नंबर 91 सी माय गेस वाज राइट ओके सो फ्रॉम 91 ऑनवर्ड्स सबसे पैरासाइट है द लास्ट पैरासाइट एंड चार्ट में सेकंड पेज पेज फर्स्ट से ही होगा यार सेकंड से तो नहीं होगा फर्स्ट पे क्या है व्हाट इज देयर ऑन पेज नंबर वन व्हाट इज देयर ऑन पेज नंबर वन चेक कैन यू रीड द ऑर्गेनिज्म नेम एंटमीबा हिस्टोलिटिका कहां से स्टार्ट हो रहा है दैट इज माइको ओके हाँ पेज नंबर वन So in the chart, start from page number one only. Anatomy, biostatistics. So whatever you want to follow, it's your choice. I told you, na, there are two type of students always in my class. Some follow charts; they are very comfortable and happy with the charts. Whatever extra information they get in the lecture, they just write in the chart and they finalize their chart itself. I know, but there are some students who say, "Ki nahi, hamay longitude se padna hai," so they are also there. It's up to you. So whatever is written here, the compact form is given here. I know, that's what I'm teaching you. So all the three things are synchronized. My PPT plus my long note plus my chart, everything is synchronized. So you will not feel out of that. है ना जो फॉलो करना है करो इट्स योर चॉइस ठीक है ओके क्या नहीं सुन रही मैं उस्मान व्हाट आई एम नॉट हियरिंग मैम सुन ही नहीं रही व्हाट आई एम नॉट लिसनिंग आई एम लिसनिंग से उस्मान और यू वांट टू से समथिंग हम सो कैन वी प्रोसीड हां राइट डाउन व्हाट यू वांट टू से चलो लेट्स स्टार्ट पैरासाइकोलॉजी लेट मी स्टार्ट विद द पैरासाइकोलॉजी ओके इन द पैरासाइकोलॉजी इन द पैरासाइकोलॉजी um uh, before starting as usual okay so is it compulsory to create a new link we will continue for half an hour more at 12:15 i'm leaving still it is compulsory so after half an hour still i'm going to uh, have a break now so i think i'm allowed to take a two and half or three hour session on one link i think but still if it is a confusion the team will call me okay so don't worry just continue 
चलो पैरासाइटोलॉजी सो इन द पैरासाइटोलॉजी द फर्स्ट थिंग यू मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द पैरासाइट पैरासाइट क्या होता है हां व्हाट इज द पैरासाइट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट पैरासाइट होता क्या है ओके व्हाट इज द पैरासाइट ओके पैरासाइट इज द ऑर्गेनिज्म व्हिच रिसाइड ऑन अनदर ऑर्गेनिज्म पैरासाइट इज द ऑर्गेनिज्म व्हिच रिसाइड ऑन अनदर ऑर्गेनिज्म फॉर टू थिंग्स है ना द अनदर ऑर्गेनिज्म इज नोन एज होस्ट है ना द ऑर्गेनिज्म व्हिच इज रिसाइडिंग इज नोन एज पैरासाइट है ना सो पैरासाइट ऑब्टेन टू थिंग्स फ्रॉम द होस्ट parasite obtain nutrition that is food food or nutrition from the host and shelter from the host so the host is providing two things to the parasite hai na ek to ghar khana hai na roti kapda makan kapda to nahi de raha hai lekin roti aur makan hai na so roti aur makan so i mean the host is providing the food and the shelter to the parasite very good the parasite is very happy badle mein parasite kya de raha hai to the host parasite is getting disease from the host hai na the parasite is getting disease from the uh, parasite is giving disease to the host hai na so host parasite ko do achhi cheeze de raha hai food and shelter aur badle mein parasite is giving disease to the host so this relationship is known as host parasite relationship got it so who is the parasite who obtain two thing food and shelter from another organism the another organism is known as host okay ji yes dhoke baaj very good okay just a second just a second chalo okay so this is a parasite there are two type of parasites what are the two type of parasites protozoa metazoa sabse pehle dekhna hota hai classification so what is the what is the matlab uh, criteria for classification what is the criteria protozoa are unicellular and metazoa are multicellular metazoa also known as helminth the metazoa are also known as helminth metazoa and helminth ek hi baat hai so i have taught you all four classifications till now what was the basis of classification in bacteria what is the basis of classification in viruses what is the basis of classification in fungus right now i taught you fungus fungus and now i'm teaching you parasitology so what is the basis of classification the primary thing you should know the classification if you are not knowing even the classification of these four organism you are out of competition bhai pehli cheez classification to yaad rakhna karo na jitne organism hai you should know ki wo kaun si category mein aate hain unse dosti to karo unke naam to yaad karo uske baad un sab ki details dekho might be is very easy if you know the classification of all and if you know the important important points of all of them that's it it's a study of microorganism so you what i have done now a big sheet all bacteria on one page on viruses on all fungus all parasito write down the classification and write down the important points there only whatever is important so this is a way on one big sheet we can entirely compact the microbiology in this way got my point chalo listen uh the bacteria are divided into four categories based on gram staining gram positive cocci gram negative cocci ha na you know already gram positive is like gram negative viruses are divided into two categories dna viruses and rna viruses we have seen yesterday the 6 dna and the 15 rna the funguses are divided again in four categories based on the disease superficial mycosis causing superficial skin then subcutaneous mycosis then deep mycosis and finally opportunistic so four 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 total 16 fungus just now i taught you and now lastly i am teaching you the parasito complete ha na so the basis of the parasito the basis of the parasito what is the basis of classification whether it is unicellular or multicellular if it is unicellular it is known as protozoa and if it is multicellular it is known as metazoa also known as helminth metazoa or helminth ek hi baat hai first learn that okay got it so can we go ahead so learn the basis of classification of all the organism let's continue with parasitology so there are two type of parasites protozoa metazoa let's continue the classification protozoa is divided into five category 1 2 3 4 5 we have to learn the five and metazoa are divided into three categories cysto trematode nematode ha na so total 5 plus 3 total eight categories you have to learn okay so protozoa ki five categories kya hai let's start with protozoa so what are the five categories of the protozoa we have amoebas ha na amoebas we have flagellates sporozoans ciliates and microsporidia what are amoebas amoebas are the organism which have pseudopodia in them these are amoebas flagellates are the organisms which have flagella in them these are flagellates sporozoans are the organism which have sporozoite in them these are sporozoans ciliates are the organism which have cilia in them ha na and microsporidia are not important they have microspore inside them right so just learn the five categories what are the five categories say say ma'am amoeba flagellate sporozoan ciliate microsporidium if you want to make some mnemonic you can if you can't make just learn the names these are the five categories of the protozoa i am teaching you protozoa let me further continue the classification in this classification i will teach you first three category ciliates and sporidia microsporidia not in our syllabus ha na we will see first three only 
the first three are important so i will teach you amoebas i will teach you flagellates i will teach you sporozoans let me further classify hai na chalo start with amoeba start with amoeba start with amoeba how many amoebas are there see the three arrows there are three type of amoebas there are three type you can continue us ke niche hai na there are three type of amoebas theek hai what are the three type of amoebas what are the three type of amoebas pathogenic non pathogenic field wing please understand the meaning there is only one amoeba in this world which cause disease in human that is antamoeba histolytica i will start from this only today parasitology so antamoeba histolytica is the only amoeba which cause disease in human that is pathogenic amoeba only one amoeba hai na these all are common cell hai na these are common cell what are common cell they do not cause harm to us they remain in human body that do not cause any harm these are known as non pathogenic i will not teach you this just read their name but i will not teach you because they do not cause any disease in us then why to study their their details hai na but most of them are antamoeba only antamoeba coli antamoeba gingivalis antamoeba disper antamoeba hartmani hai na this is also edo amoeba so the suffix is amoeba 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 dekh ke tumhe samajh jayega amoeba but one of it is not a suffix amoeba andolimax nana you must understand ki andolimax nana bhi non pathogenic hai baki to amoeba 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 suffix is there theek hai these all are common so just learn their names don't go in the detail i will not give you the detail of any of them right but there are three three free living amoeba you will say now what do you mean the three free living they remain in the soil or water in the environment hai na they don't have human as a natural host but accidentally they enter in human accidentally galti se these are usually free living but accidentally they enter in human once they enter in human no they cause disease of the brain these are known as neuroparasite neuro eaters brain eater neuroparasite either say neuroparasite or say brain eater these are known as brain brain eaters so very important the three the three which three nigleria flavi acanthiba balmutia so can you see the one is pathogenic it causes a disease in the intestine and three of them causes disease in the brain so total four amoebas i will teach you ha na the four amoebas can you see your page number 1 of the chart page number 1 of the chart what are the four organisms what is it written at the corner in the corner it may be written amoebas i don't have it i wish if i could be show you if i could be show you i don't have it i'm sorry i'm having chart of bacteria theek hai so amoebas have you seen the four amoebas page number 1 pe maine kya bana ke diya hai antamoeba histolytica the main one amoeba and the three free living nigleria flavri acanthamoeba and balmutia the balmutia mandrillus have you seen your chart everyone have opened the chart page number 1 please open it open it right now ana all of them are amoebas it's written there yes medico amoebas so i will teach you in this sequence only you can follow my chart theek hai you can follow my chart ana you can write down here in the chart only this one is pathogenic and these three are free living these three are free living they will cause disease in the brain i will teach you the detail of them one by one तो चार तो यहां से पढ़ने हैं 5 मिनट्स ईच 5 और मे बी 3 3 मिनट्स ऑन देम दीस आर स्मॉल स्मॉल सो वी विल रिक्वायर नियरली यू कैन से सम मिनट्स है ना ऑन द अमीबास है ना सो अमीबास हो जाएगा हमारा फर्स्ट सो आफ्टर अमीबास वी विल कम ऑन द फ्लैजिलेट्स द नेक्स्ट वी विल कम ऑन द फ्लैजिलेट्स हाउ मेनी फ्लैजिलेट्स आर देयर थ्री टाइप ऑफ फ्लैजिलेट्स डिपेंडिंग ह्यूमन बॉडी में वो कहां रहते हैं वेयर डज दे रिसाइड इन ह्यूमन बॉडी दे रिसाइड इन द इंटेस्टाइन दे रिसाइड इन द जेनिटल कैविटी दे रिसाइड इन द ब्लड ऑफ द ह्यूमन ब्लड ऑफ द ह्यूमन इज हीमोफ्लैजिलेट सो वन इन द इंटेस्टाइन जीआरडीआर लामलिया I will teach you that. Ha na one in the genital trichomonas vaginalis. देखो नाम में ही है vaginalis. It is genital. It is genital because it is vaginalis. And third is the hemo. Hemo मतलब blood. Here we have two leishmania and there are two type of trypanosomes. Trypanosoma bruzi and trypanosoma cruzi. So total five are there. You can see one giardia lamblia, one trichomonas vaginalis, and three are there. Leishmania donovani, leishmania donovani, trypanosoma bruzi and trypanosoma cruzi. So I want you to open your page number two of the chart. these two are given say yes if you get it say yes i'm telling you in the classification ki bar bar nahi padhaungi whenever i move on giardia lamblia it's your choice ki aap page number 2 pe chale jao to bar bar nahi bolungi ab ye page kholo ye page kholo i'm showing you ki where it is given so whenever i give the detail if you want to open it's your choice so these two are given on page number 2 say yes giardia lamblia and trichomonas vaginalis write down yes you got the two here ha huh? come on page number 3 page number 3 you will get trypanosoma bruzi cruzi and a leishmania i have not given in the chart i forgot to give So you, if you wish, you can continue with these. है ना लक्ष्मीनिया का chart में नहीं है मैं गलती से भूल गई हूँ I forgot to give. Ideally, I should give all five in the chart. है ना so all four amoebas are in chart you will get and out of the so I have to teach you four amoebas and five flagellates. Here all four are given in the chart. Here out of five four are given in the chart. The fifth one you can continue in the chart if you wish. It's your choice, Annie. है ना okay coming on the sporozoans. So we are coming. So four plus five है ना coming on the sporozoans. देखिए हम यहाँ से कितने पढ़ने हैं sporozoans. 
सो स्पोरोजोन्स देयर आर मेनी स्पोरोजोन्स देखो नाम में ही है स्पोरा नाम में ही है स्पोरा स्पोरा सो ऑल द स्पोरा विल बी देयर है ना क्रिप्टोस्पोरा साइक्लोस्पोरा आइसोस्पोरा स्पोरा 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 याद आया क्या स्पोरास वर एसिड फास्ट ऑर्गेनिज्म नो लॉन्गर सेपरेट बुकिंग रिम सिम कार्ड उसमें स्पोरास आते हैं द टू पैरासाइट्स है ना सो दीस आर द स्पोरास एंड दीस आर कमिंग इन द एक्सेप्शन दे रिक्वायर 0.25% ऑफ H2SO4 याद आया क्या स्पोरास है है ना उसके अलावा सैक्रोसिस्टस है टॉक्सोप्लाज्मा गोंडी है द टू अल्ट्रा इंपॉर्टेंट दैट आई विल टीच यू इज प्लाज्मोडियम एंड बेबीसिया सो आई विल टीच यू ओनली टू प्लाज्मोडियम एंड बेबीसिया इन डिटेल दीस जस्ट हैव अ लुक इन द क्लासिफिकेशन क्वेश्चन यूजुअली डोंट कम फ्रॉम दैम ठीक है सो वी विल नॉट सी द डिटेल्स यू कैन सी योर पेज नंबर व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट पेज नंबर 1 2 3 4 4 पेज नंबर 4 पे प्लाज्मोडियम इज गिवन द फोर टाइप्स ऑफ प्लाज्मोडियम इज गिवन प्लाज्मोडियम वाइवेक्स प्लाज्मोडियम फैलसिफेरम प्लाज्मोडियम ओवेल प्लाज्मोडियम मलेरी दिया है क्या फोर टाइप ऑफ प्लाज्मोडियम सो पेज नंबर 4 पे ऑल द प्लाज्मोडियम्स आर देयर बेबीसी इज नॉट देयर इन द चार्ट इट्स वेरी स्मॉल वो प्लाज्मोडियम के नीचे ही ऐड कर देना आप है ना सो दिस दिस इज सो दैट इज द ओनली थिंग सीलिएट्स में कमिंग ऑन द नेक्स्ट वन सीलिएट्स है ना सो हियर आई विल टीच यू ओनली टू प्लाज्मोडियम एंड बेबीसिया आई विल टीच यू ओनली टू सो आई विल टीच यू फोर अमीबास आई विल टीच यू फाइव फ्लैजिलेट्स आई विल टीच यू टू स्पोरोजोन्स सीलिएट्स में वी हैव ओनली वन ऑर्गेनिज्म बैलेंटीडियम कोलाई जस्ट लर्न आई विल नॉट टीच यू दैट जस्ट लर्न यहां पे दो ही क्वेश्चन आते हैं नंबर 1 दीस ऑल आर प्रोटोजोआ दीस ऑल आर प्रोटोजोआ व्हाट आर प्रोटोजोआ बाय द वे व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्रोटोजोआ एंड मेटाजोआ व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्रोटोजोआ एंड मेटाजोआ दीस आर यूनिसेल्युलर मेटाजोआ आर मल्टीसेल्युलर These are unicellular, na? These all are unicellular, but ciliate is largest. Balantidium colla is largest among them. सबसे बड़ा, सब unicellular हैं. One cell, one cell, one cell, one cell. उनमें सबसे बड़ा कौन है? Balantidium colla है, है ना? Balantidium colla है, है ना? So balantidium से बाला, it's a बड़ा भाई. B से बड़ा, I learn like that. B से बड़ा, सबसे बड़ा है. Balantidium colla. Please learn. B से बड़ा, you will not forget. ठीक है? Okay, so please learn. And the last one is Microspora, Microsporidia. It have only one organism, Microsporidia. i will not teach you that so basically basically what i am going to teach you i am going to teach you four amoebas i am going to teach you five flagellates i am going to teach you two sporozoans i am not going to teach you this just learn this is the largest one that's it and it is the only ciliated one and here my microsporidia is not important so how many can you count 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 11 ha na and 5 to 10 minutes on each on an average 7 7 minutes on each ha na on an average 7 to 10 minutes bhi le lo to be require one and half to two hours here है ना फॉर कंप्लीटिंग प्रोटोजोआ और इतना ही टाइम लगेगा मेटाजोआ में है ना मेटाजोआ में भी 11 बारह है पढ़ाने के लिए सो ग्यारह बारह यहाँ ग्यारह बारह वहां नियरली ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑर्गेनिजम्स आई टू टीच यू दे ऑल आर देयर दिस इज द सिंपलेस्ट वे आई कैन टीच यू ओके जी आई एम गिविंग यू ओरिएंटेशन की भाई पढ़ना कैसे है है ना सो पहले इन सबसे दोस्ती करो देन वी विल सी दम वन बाय वन सो वी हैव स्टडीड द प्रोटोजोआ फर्स्ट आई हैव टॉट यू पैरासाइटोलॉजी इन द पैरासाइटोलॉजी देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म यूनिसेल्युलर and the multicellular the unicellular are protozoa and the multicellular are metazoa ha na we divide the protozoa into five categories among them hamari kaam ki teen hi hai the first three are important the next two are not important but you should know the names at least and here total three categories are there ha na so here what are the five categories in the protozoa we will see it once chalo kon batayega mujhe protozoa please write down write down the five categories 1 2 3 4 5 okay i'm writing the first are amoeba The second is flagellate. The third is porous one. We will study only these three. We will study only these three. The fourth is ciliate. We will not study. The fifth is porous. Uh, the fifth is microsporidia. Microsporidia not important. We will not study this. It is not the thing I am not teaching you. These are not in our syllabus. Just read the name. It is not given in books. Also very very detailed. Questions will not come from that. Hana chalo. Amoebas may let's divide it further. Amoebas may let tell me the three categories of the amoeba. Tell me who is pathogenic amoeba, who is non-pathogenic amoeba, and tell me who is free-living amoeba. So tell me pathogenic amoeba is only one, and amoeba is free-living. Non-pathogenic are many. You will learn your names at your end. I will not teach you those. Just learn the names. By option me aaga to you should be identified. ठीक है? And uh, free-living me there are three. Nigleria flowery. Bolo Nigleria flowery. And amoeba histolytica. And and uh, uh, not and amoeba histolytica. What I am saying? Nigleria flowery. um acanthamoeba and balmothia so you can learn the first first letter antamoeba should be guys eh and f a and b you can learn like that ha na so these are the four amoebas i am going to teach you okay ji ha na coming on the flagellates chalo aa jao flagellates pe flagellates again we divide in three categories what are the three categories of the flagellates the one which reside in intestine the one which reside in genital cavity and the one which reside in the blood that is hemoflagellate so tell me the intestinal one ek hi hai giardia lamblia 
जियाडिया लॉमलिया है ना जेनाइटल में भी एक ही है ट्रैकोमोनास वजैनलस है ना और हीमो में दो है लक्ष्मीनिया डोनोवानी आई मीन तीन है ट्रिपेनोसोमा ब्रूजी ट्रिपेनोसोमा क्रूजी है ना सो टोटल फाइव आई हैव टू टीच यू सो वी हैव वी विल सी फोर फ्रॉम हियर वी विल सी फाइव फ्रॉम हियर यू नो द पेज नंबर कहां पे क्या दिया यू विल फॉलो दैट ठीक है कमिंग ऑन द स्पोरोजोन्स कमिंग ऑन द स्पोरोजोन्स इन द स्पोरोजोन्स देयर आर मेनी यू राइट ऑल द स्पोरास आर देयर है ना क्रिप्टोस्पोरा साइक्लोस्पोरा आइसोस्पोरा आई विल नॉट टीच यू दैट व्हाट आई विल टीच यू आई विल टीच यू ओनली थ्रू प्लाज्मोडियम एंड बेबीसिया plasmodium and babesia so two from here we will study so total 11 i am going to teach you here you can write balanterium coli this is the largest one yahi classification mein likh lo this is the largest one and only ciliated ciliated mein ek hi hai and microsporidia is microsporidia hai na no other question on that so all of you are oriented ki what we are going to do in the next one and half hour ha we are studying all these all these hai na first we will finish the amebas i will start with amebas only theek hai ji i will start with amebas so i will teach you four amebas given on page number 1 page number 1 i will teach you antamoeba astrolytica and the remaining three nigliria flavi acanthamoeba balmothia so i will teach you all four i guess sabke paas print out hai print out is compulsory charts ka to compulsory hai main notes ka lo mat lo but charts ka print out to compulsory hai hai na chalo nahi bhi liya hai to koi baat nahi you can mark there theek hai jahan pe bhi tum mark kar rahe ho so that is amoebas hai na flagellates mein i am going to teach you five flagellates hai na giardia lamlia that is intestinal then trichomonas vaginalis and the three hemoflagellates leishmania donovani trypanosoma bruzi cruzi so these all are given on page number 2 and 3 jispe leishmania wala missing hai theek hai sporozoans mein i will teach you only two plasmodium and babesia so it will take time some some are very big some some are very small so on an average in the next one one and half hour two hour we are going to finish it protozoa theek hai so this is all we have seen in the protozoa matazoa ka classification mein we divide them in three categories cystode trematode nematode cystodes trematode nematodes i am not telling you this classification let me first finish protozoa then i will tell you the classification of matazoa theek hai otherwise you will get confused let me finish protozoa the 11 organism let me teach you there let me finish 11 then whenever we will start matazoa first i will teach you the classification these are the cystodes ha na cystodes cystodes there are five cystodes i will teach you one trematode i will teach you and three nematode 5 6 7 8 9 9 9 total i will teach you here and these are big big hai na and me time lagega sab me 10 10 minute to minimum 10 minute so it will require minimum 1 and 1/2 to 2 hour so pura parasitology acha khasa hai you got the orientation hai na so these are the five cystodes i will teach you there are many trematode but i will teach you only one and there are many nematode i will teach you the three ultra important this this and this the three ultra important so this is a way we will carry out say yes samajh me aaya first get oriented ki pad kya rahe hain hai na orientation hi nahi hoga to you will say ma'am koi bhi organism utha ke kuch bhi pada rahe hain you should be oriented ki what we are what what sequence we are going to continue theek hai ji okay so we have seen the parasites we have seen the classification of parasite before starting the parasite individually you tell me what is host you tell me what is host host kya hota hai what is a host ha huh? what is a host host is a organism on which the parasite is residing and getting the two things the nutrition and the shelter and in badle mein the parasite is giving the disease to the host wo to hum sabko pata hai there are two type of host definitive host also known as primary host and also known as primary host and intermediate host also known as secondary host so you must understand what is primary what is secondary i mean what is definitive what is intermediate before starting the chapter because i will use this terminology you will see ma'am ye definitive host kya hota hai ye intermediate host kya hota hai you got my point ha huh? so first understand does anyone know what is definitive host and intermediate host the definition is different from for protozoa and the definition is different for matazoa let me teach you the four definitions okay let me teach you so let me draw the four host let's assume host is a human it can be animal also hai na aisa nahi hai ki host is always human it can be animal also so let me draw the four just assume it is a human so let me draw the four host for you hai na two for protozoa and two for matazoa i will explain what is definitive what is intermediate what is definitive and what is intermediate okay so this is for protozoa the definitions protozoa and this is for matazoa the definitions matazoa or helminth see i will draw if you wish you can also draw listen 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 inside the host the parasite is there so this is a parasite this is a parasite this is a parasite this is a parasite the parasite is inside the host you all can see site is inside those please understand the parasite is inside the host ha na so the parasite inside the host is performing sexual cycle of its it is a definitive host it is known as definitive host and if the parasite is performing asexual cycle ha na it is known as intermediate host say yes these are the definitions for protozoa say yes people say yes ha bolo so what is a definitive host it is the host inside which the parasite is performing sexual cycle 
And what is intermediate host? It is a host inside which the parasite is performing a sexual cycle. Energy, okay. Coming on the definitions in the Matazoa. Here we don't have sexual asexual cycle like the protozoa. We don't have sexual asexual cycle. Here, who are Matazoa? You say, ma'am, these are multicellular. These are unicellular, the protozoa. So they have sexual and asexual cycle. So that is how we define them. Hana? But these are multicellular. So here we have adult and larva. The adult is big and larva is a child. Larva is a small kid. So the host in, inside which the adult is there. So obviously adult will do the sexual cycle. Na? Adult is to do sexual. But larva don't do sexual cycle. Na? Adults. The meaning is same. This is known as definitive host. And if the larva is there, obviously it's asexual cycle. Obviously. So it is known as intermediate host. I mean to say the meaning is same. Just correlate. I mean meaning is same. Adult only perform sexual cycle and larva only perform asexual. But you have to use these wordings. The wordings are this. So can you define the definitive and intermediate host for protozoa and matazoa? Huh? For protozoa you define. What is the definitive host? You will see ma'am the definitive host is one inside which the parasite is performing sexual cycle. And what is the intermediate host? The intermediate host is one inside which the parasite is performing a sexual cycle. Give me a thumbs up. You got it? What is the definition for matazoa or helmet? What is the definition no, for matazoa or helmet? A definitive host is one inside which the parasite is an adult form. And the intermediate host is one inside which the parasite is in larval form. Without any confusion, please learn it thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly. And don't get confused. Adult and larva cannot be in unicellular organism. Uh, by unicellular, hai to kya to adult, kya to larva. It is unicellular, no? So there is no adult and larva in unicellular. The adult and larva can be in multicellular. So that's why this definition will fit here. This definition will fit here. I'm trying to super simplify. Okay, ji. So the same four definitions written in front of you. Chalo. Protozoa, matazoa. You can see. Definitive host, intermediate host. So who is the definitive host? Inside which? Sexual cycle. Intermediate host, asexual cycle. Here definitive host in the helmet. The parasite is an adult form. And intermediate host, the parasite is in larval form. Okay. Hana, read the question. Tell me the answer. Let's see who got it. Chalo. Tell me the answer, people. Fast. Tell me the answer. Fast, fast. So the host harboring adult or sexual cycle. Either adult or sexual. It's one and the same. If you say adult, it is for helminth. And if you say sexual, it is for protozoa. So both of them is definitive. Yes, both of them is definitive. I know, yes. So tell me the next question. It's, it's difficult. Don't rush. Definitive host in protozoa. Who is definitive host for protozoa? Not for matazoa. For protozoa. Who is the definitive host for protozoa? Yes, what is the correct answer? Who is the definitive host for protozoa? Huh? Host harboring adult or larva or sexual or asexual. Yes, very correct. Medico, very good. At Manoj, everyone is correct. So, correct answer is C. Anna? So, it is, don't say A. Koi A to nahi bol ra? Anna? So, correct answer is C. If I change definitive to intermediate, what is your answer now? Isi question mein change karengi. Definitive ko intermediate mein. Now, what is your answer? Hmm? What is your answer now? So for protozoa only I'm asking. But I'm asking intermediate. So now you said sexual, no? No, yes. You will say asexual in that case. Very good, Shivam. Very good. Yes. So in that case, you will say asexual. The next question. Definitive host for helminth. Definitive host for helminth. Not for protozoa. I'm asking metazoa now. So metazoa ka definitive host ko The host harboring adult, larva, sexual, ki asexual. For helminth. Yes, obviously. Very correct. Very correct. The correct answer is A. Yeah, no? The correct answer is A. And again, if I change it to intermediate, the answer will become B. The answer will become B. So you got the four questions. Take care. Chalo. The next thing, before starting the parasites, let me tell you one more thing. Let me tell you one more thing. What is that? The life cycle of the parasites. So there are two types of life cycle in the parasites. Direct, indirect. The direct also known as simple. Indirect also known as complex. What do you mean by direct or simple? Indirect or complex? Okay, listen, listen. There are two types of life cycle. Life cycle ki baat karke, we will start the parasites now. One by one, we will start as usual. Hana life cycle, there are two types of life cycle. Simple, also known as direct, one and the same thing. Simple or direct. And complex, complex or indirect. Complex or indirect. Hana simple, complex, direct, indirect. What do you mean by that? Here, total two hosts are there. Theek hai? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Only one host is there. Only one host. So you will see ma'am, which is one host, hai, wo definitive host hai ki intermediate host. Hai. So it is always definitive host. There is no intermediate host in them. So life cycle is simple. They have only one host that is definitive. They don't have intermediate host. They can be protozoa, they can be matazoa. Say yes if you got it. They have only one host in the entire life cycle and that too definite. 
they don't have intermediate host that is the meaning of the simple life cycle say yes and complex life cycle they have either two host or they have three host and three se zyada nahi hote either two or three hai na so if they are two so how many definitive how many intermediate if they are three how many definitive how many intermediate you tell me that you tell me that ha huh? you tell me chalo batao agar it is uh, two host na so one is definitive one is intermediate it's like that ha na and if there are three host definitive is always one ha na the remaining two will be intermediate can you see should i should i shift it behind me na okay you can see it like this okay ji please learn so total three so write down if you wish or just understand so you will understand the life cycle simple or complex how many of you got it can we proceed so listen listen after this the same thing is written here only we have one host and that two definitive host there is no intermediate host simple life cycle and complex may two or more two or three host are there so here i have given the tables ha na i have given the tables to you these tables tables are they given in your notes or not given i guess they are given maine diye to honge print mein i guess they are given no hmm have i given these tables ha huh? yes so these tables i am not reading now this is for your last last time revision so in your tables the definitive and intermediate host of all the parasites which i will teach you now i will teach you 11 in the protozoa and nearly 8 or 9 in the matazoa total 19 20 parasites i will teach you today ha na so all of them are enumerated here last time just revise the definitive host and intermediate host in all of them just revise before going to your exam okay okay so can we start the parasites now ha huh? warm up ho gaya this was just warm up the race will start now <laughs> अभी तक तो वार्म अप चल रहा था वी हैव जस्ट सीन द क्लासिफिकेशन वी हैव जस्ट डन द फ्रेंडशिप विथ ऑल ऑफ दैम नाउ वी विल सी दियर डिटेल डिटेल हिस्ट्री ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दैम वी नो द नेम्स ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दैम वन बाय वन वी विल स्टार्ट सो आर यू पीपल विथ मी वॉट एवर नोट्स यू वॉन्ट टू फॉलो फॉलो ओपन द पेज नंबर आई विल नॉट से पेज नंबर दिस दैट आई हैव टोल्ड यू आई एम स्टार्टिंग विथ अमी बस आई एम स्टार्टिंग विथ अमी बस आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू फोर अमी बस है ना वन बाय वन आई विल टीच यू है ना फाइव टेन मिनट्स ऑन ईच ऑफ दैम लेट स्टार्ट सो दिस इज द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द अमी बस So I have first I will teach you amoebas, then flagellates, then sporos one. These two I am not going to teach you. Then I will shift on matters one. So let's start amoebas. Amoebas. There are three type of amoebas: pathogenic, non-pathogenic, free living. And a pathogenic is only one. Antimicrobial strategica. So I have first I will teach you antimicrobial strategica. These I will not teach you. And free living, the Nigleria flavia, Acanthiba balmuthi. I will teach you all three. So total four amoebas. Let's start with the first one. This is a chart I have already given you. In your chart, this column is filled or empty? I don't know. I guess this is empty. If it is empty, you can draw with me. I have drawn, na? Like I have given empty intentionally because in face-to-face -face classes, I ask the student to draw and show it to me. I know that's why. If you wish, you can draw. Otherwise, it is given in the notes. Anyways, so let's start Antamoeba histolytica. Then I will move on Nigleria flavi. Then Acanthiba. Then Balmuthia. So let's start with the first one, Acca and Antamoeba histolytica. Whenever I start any parasite, the first thing I will teach you is the morphology. Without morphology, you cannot understand anything. The first thing you have to study morphology. I know Antamoeba histolytica. देखो एक पैरासाइट्स पढ़ो आई विल टीच यू द फर्स्ट पैरासाइट दिस इज द फर्स्ट पैरासाइट आई एम टीचिंग यू नो एंड आई एम बस रेडी का सो यू विल हैव अ ओवरव्यू दैट व्हाट इज माय वे ऑफ टीचिंग इन द सेम वे आई विल कैरी द रिमेनिंग 19 आई विल टीच यू टोटल 20 पैरासाइट्स द रिमेनिंग 19 आई विल टीच यू द सेम वे व्हाट माय पॉइंट है ना सो देयर इज अ पीकुलियर वे इन व्हिच आई टीच ऑल द पैरासाइट्स इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग आई विल मेक पैरासाइटोलॉजी अ फन फॉर यू बिलीव मी बिलीव मी गिव मी 2 3 आवर्स आई विल मेक इट ठीक है चलो एंड आई एम बस रेडी का देयर आर थ्री मॉर्फोलॉजिकल फॉर्म्स दे रिमेन आइदर एज ट्रोपोजोइट Or as precist, or as cyst, है ना? Trophozoite, precist, cyst, है ना? I maybe have given three columns, है ना? In your chart, trophozoite, precist, and cyst. You have to draw. You have to see the important things in the diagram, है ना? So trophozoite का shape क्या है? Say amoeba shape. Amoeba. Who is amoeba? Amoeba shape क्या होता है? The one who is having pseudopodia. Pseudopodia is the cytoplasmic extension. Whenever there is a cytoplasmic extension, whenever there is a pseudopodia, it is known as amoeba. So the shape is amoeba. वेरी Acto is clear. You can see in the diagram very well. And endo is granular. Whenever there is an endo, there is a granular inside which the nucleus is present. Concentrate on the nucleus. This is nucleus. I know. Inside the nucleus, there is a dot at the center. Inside the nucleus, there is a dot-like structure at the center. This dot-like structure is known as karyosome. What it is known as? 
it is known as karyosome the dot like structure is known as karyosome from the karyosome the chromatin will be spoke like arrangement the chromatin will be like spoke like arrangement it look like wheel so the nucleus is like a wheel the nucleus is like a wheel in the endocytoplasm which is granular can you see this is wbc this is rbc oh my god what is this wbc and rbc this is a parasite wbc rbc no this is a unicellular organism isme circulatory system thodi hai bone marrow thodi hai it is having its own uh, rbc wbc no 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 this rbc wbc is of human so this parasite is coming in human ka intestine and taking our blood so it is the rbc and wbc of human very unique thing so cytoplasm contain the rbc the human rbc it is known as erythro phagocytosis erythro phagocytosis so ant amoeba histolytica perform erythro phagocytosis yes it perform uh, erythro phagocytosis got it please learn that say yes so this is the pre uh, this is the trophozoite this is nothing important it's like trophozoite only ha na but only thing it don't have rbcs inside that the cyst there are three type of cyst please see the three type of cyst all of them are same all of them are spherical the only difference this is uninucleate one nucleus this is binucleate and this is quadrinucleate so hamare kaam ka quadri hai quadrinucleate is the mature cyst quadrinucleate cyst is the mature cyst i am drawing all three if you wish you can draw with me trophozoite pre cyst and cyst ha na this learn the important point ha na i guess in the charts na i have given the important points written in the diagrams i have not drawn the diagram i have given the space for the diagram but what you have to show that labeling i have already given i mean trophozoite pre cyst and cyst i want you to draw a trophozoite which is amoeba shaped can draw any amoeba shape ha na this is also amoeba shape having the pseudopodia but this is very good i want you to draw ha na here i want you to draw two cytoplasm acto and endo <coughs> i want you to draw a nucleus ha na having a karyosome karyosome is at the center central highlight the word central karyosome it is not eccentric yahan pe central rahega and spoke like arrangement ha na in the endoplasm i want you to draw few rbcs few rbcs and label it as erythrophagocytosis and also outer is clear inner is granular and erythrophagocytosis how many of you got it bas itna sa dikhana hai jo dikhana hai maine likh ke diya hai this is nothing important yahan pe draw four nucleus draw four nucleus write down quadrinucleate quadri matlab four quadrinucleate cyst how many of you got it people please keep talking with me hai na got it this is the morphology theek hai so coming on mode of transmission coming on mode of transmission how does it enter in human body for all parasites there can be very ways some parasites enter by eating eating is known as ingestion ingestion some enter via sexual route ha na some enter via direct contact direct skin contact some enter via swimming ha na so different parasites have different route you have to tell me what is the route of the entry what is the mode of the transmission so here for ant amoeba histolytica just a second here i'm sorry here for for ant amoeba histolytica it is ingestion ingestion can you see the person is eating the person is eating the food or the drinking water which is contaminated with this parasite so there are three forms now trophozoite pre cyst and uh, cyst uh, trophozoite pre cyst and cyst so which of them is present in the food and it is going inside so quadrinucleate cyst please learn the infective form is called so food should contain the quadrinucleate cyst if this food contain trophozoite or pre cyst to kuch nahi hoga trophozoite and pre cyst are not infective the quadrinucleate cyst so you have to learn the infective form this is the meaning of the infective form so this person is eating the food the food is contaminated with quadrinucleate cyst the food is contaminated with quadrinucleate cyst okay ha na so let me draw the life cycle listen you don't have to draw it you have to understand only listen let me draw human for you for all the 20 parasites i will draw the life cycle like this but you don't have to draw you have to learn the summary but if i tell you the summary directly you will not understand that's why drawing is important for me not for you theek hai just understand your point is understanding whatever you have to learn i have given you okay okay just a second you can see this is uh this is the large intestine let me draw small intestine is done this is the large intestine okay listen this is a human can you see the girl who was eating the same girl she is eating or any human is eating the food or the water contaminated with the quadrinucleate cyst so see how beautifully i am drawing the infective form is quadrinucleate cyst yahan pe mujhe do cheeze dikh rahi hai what is the root it's ingestion what is the infective form quadrinucleate cyst it's not trophozoite it's not pre cyst please learn so this cyst will go inside 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 in the stomach it will rupture in the stomach accestation occur what it is known as accestation from one cyst from one cyst four trophozoite will come four trophozoite this is known as access accestation 
फ्रॉम वन सिस फोर ट्रोफोजॉइड विल कम ठीक है दीज ट्रोफोजॉइड्स विल मूव फर्दर अब सिस को हो गया कन्वर्ट द ट्रोफोजॉइड्स विल मूव 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 एंड दे विल गो इन सीकम इन सीकम दे विल स्टॉप इन सीकम दे विल स्टॉप द ट्रोफोजॉइड्स द ट्रोफोजॉइड्स दे विल स्टॉप इन द सीकम लर्न द वर्ड सीकम है ना नाउ इन सीकम दे विल इनवेड द द म्यूकोसा हैव फोर लेयर ना इंटेस्टाइन हैव फोर लेयर म्यूकोसा सब म्यूकोसा मस्कुलर प्रॉपर्टी एंड सिरोसा सो दे विल इनवेड दे विल इनवेड इन द वॉल एंड प्रोड्यूस अल्सर फ्लास्क शेप अल्सर कौन सा शेप अल्सर आई विल शो यू द डायग्राम अंडरस्टैंड फ्लास्क शेप अल्सर सो दे विल दे विल फॉर्म द फ्लास्क शेप अल्सर इन द uh intestine they will form the flash shape ulcer in the intestine say yes got it flash shape ulcer the ulcer will bleed the ulcer so what are the symptoms so patient have bleeding patient have ulcer patient have pain patient have diarrhea and dysentery diarrhea be dysentery so these are the symptoms say yes say yes not only this yahan pe rukegi nahi kahani the story abhi baki hai now from intestine the blood vessel goes the portal vein so this is the portal vein the portal vein goes to the liver so these trophozoite again i say trophozoite not cyst aapko highlight karna hai trophozoite is sab kar raha hai cyst kuch nahi kar raha cyst is entering and trophozoite is causing everything the trophozoite will go to the portal vein cyst will not go to the portal vein trophozoite will go to the portal vein it will go in the liver in the liver it will produce the abscess it will produce the abscess in the liver ha na the abscess contain the brown pus so if you cut it the brown pus will come the brown pus look like the sauce tomato sauce dekha hai the brown sauce is known as anchovy sauce ancovy it is known as ancovy sauce abscess say yes say yes ha na so this is how you have to learn from the liver story is not over they will continue their journey they will go to ivc inferior vena cava aur wahan se chale jayenge heart mein ha na right side of the heart and after that after purification in the lung they will go in the left side so the third organ involved is the lung they will produce an abscess in the lung also they will produce in the abscess so what diseases they and after that through aorta they can cause multiple organ involvement lekin wo bahut rare hai So tell me the diseases. Chalo, I'm highlighting. So no, the first disease in the intestine. It is known as intestinal amebiasis. Say yes. The second disease in the liver. It is known as extra intestinal amebiasis. Say yes. Extra intestinal amebiasis occurs in liver. Say the word extra intestinal amebiasis. It occurs in liver. Or extra hepatic amebiasis occurs in the lung. So say the three diseases. Name bolo. Say ma'am intestinal amebiasis. Ha na? Say ma'am extra. intestinal amebiasis it occurs in liver ha na and extra hepatic extra hepatic amebiasis teen amebiasis hai it occurs in lung so learn the three organs say yes people say yes lung tak bahut rare pahunchta hai usse pehle treatment ho jata hai ha na or after that multiple organs can be involved say yes so these are the symptoms tell me the symptoms of intestinal amebiasis what the patient present you will say my patient have pain patient have diarrhea patient have dysentery patient have flash shape ulcer and that such this is the symptom no need to learn samajh mein aa raha hai these are the symptoms tell me the symptoms of extra hepatic you will say ma'am hepatomegaly right side mein hepatomegaly is there hai na and patient have pain in the right right hypochondrium hai na right right abdomen mein patient have pain hepatomegaly hai na and brown color pus especially on the right lobe of the liver right lobe mein ye zyada hota hai hai na right lobe ke posterior superior surface pe theek hai and lung wale mein only abscess is there patient have dyspnea wagera breathlessness So symptoms no need to learn. हमें समझ में आ रहा है. Learn the name of the diseases. So learn the three diseases. Learn the symptoms. I mean understand the symptoms. है ना? And um, you tell me this patient is coming to your clinic. ठीक है? Doctor, I am having pain in my abdomen. I am having diarrhea. I am having dysentery. And uh, uh, you are having high. And I am having pain in the right abdomen also. So you have a high suspicion that this patient is having uh, antimicrobial infection. So tell me the specimen. पहले तो specimen बताओ. क्या specimen लोगे? फर्स्ट टेल मी स्पेसिमेन देन आई विल आस्क द टेस्ट चलो जल्दी बताओ यार व्हाट यू टेक द स्पेसिमेन स्पेसिमेन क्या लोगे व्हाट यू टेक द स्पेसिमेन अगर डिजीज इज इंटेस्टाइनल तो स्पेसिमेन इज स्टूल यहां पे हम स्टूल ले लेंगे स्टूल फॉर इंटेस्टाइनल एमीबियसिस बट फॉर एक्स्ट्रा इंटेस्टाइनल द लीवर वाला उसके लिए लीवर से एस्पिरेट करना पड़ेगा लीवर एस्पिरेट द एस्पिरेट फ्रॉम द लीवर विल बी माय स्पेसिमेन सो वी विल डू द सोनोग्राफी एंड बाय डूइंग सोनोग्राफी गाइडेड एस्पिरेट वी विल डू से यस पीपल लंग तक तो पहुंचता ही नहीं है लंग में भी है तो वी विल डू एस्पिरेट लेकिन मैं लंग की बात नहीं करूंगी आई एम कंसीडरिंग ओनली टू इंटेस्टाइनल में भी एसिस एंड एक्स्ट्रा इंटेस्टाइनल तो यहां पे स्टूल में क्या मिलेगा लेट मी गिव यू थ्री ऑप्शन ओनली ट्रोफोजॉइड ओनली सिस्ट और बोथ बताओ स्टूल में क्या मिलेगा कॉमन सेंस देखो ना डायग्राम में स्टूल में क्या मिलेगा से ललित मेडिको सद्दाम हु एल्स एलिजाबेथ कोई तो बताओ एनीवन बोथ वेरी गुड मेडिको बोथ So in the stool you get both trophozoite to aayenge hi aayenge lekin cysts are also there na maybe some cysts are not ruptured and they can come in the stool so you will get both learn stool contain both 
स्टूल कंटेन बोथ नो नो ललित स्टूल कंटेन बोथ मे बी सम सिस्टर ऑल्सो कमिंग है ना बट वॉट यू गेट इन द लीवर एस्पिरेट द सेम थ्री ऑप्शन ओनली ट्रोफोजॉइड ओनली सिस्टर बोथ लीवर एस्पिरेट में क्या मिलेगा लीवर एस्पिरेट में सो ओनली ट्रोफोजॉइड आर क्रॉसिंग द पोर्चल वेन डोंट क्रॉस द पोर्चल वेन सो ओनली ट्रोफोजॉइड आर प्रेजेंट इन द लीवर एस्पिरेट नॉट दॉट दिस सो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड वी टेक स्टूल सैंपल वी टेक लीवर एस्पिरेट we take stool sample for for intestinal amebiasis and we take liver aspirate for the extra intestinal amebiasis here we get both trophozoite and cyst and here we get only trophozoite no need to learn anything everything is understandable so you see diagram mein dekho ab questions kya kya aate hain i'm asking 20 questions on the life cycle 20 question puchungi main you tell me 20 answers and a pure questions we will cover in this diagram you can understand everything a pura chart pad lo you got everything in this cycle chalo you will tell me what is the mode of transmission You will say, ma'am, injection, khana, injection, number one. Number two, what is the infective form? You say, ma'am, quadrinucleate cyst. ठीक है? Number two question. Number three, excitation occurs where? Say, ma'am, stomach. Number three. Number four, the trophozoite cause ulcers in which organ? Answer is cecum. Answer is cecum. One trophozoite rupture into how many trophozoite? One cyst. One cyst rupture into four trophozoite. Fifth question. है ना? After that, uh, what are the diseases? है ना? Here we have intestinal. Here we have extra intestinal, then extra hepatic. In the intestinal one, flash shape ulcers are typical. Diarrhea, dysentery, है ना? And here anchovy brown color sauce abscess in the right lobe of the liver producing hepatomegaly are the symptoms, है ना? Diagnosis में stool में present both. Liver aspirate में only trophozoite. Lung aspirate में only trophozoite. ठीक है जी? Can we go drug of choice? पढ़ लो. खत्म हो गई बात. है ना? Read your chart completely. कोई ऐसी चीज़ जो मैंने नहीं बताई chart में लिखी है. something like written in your chart and i have not taught you read your chart i'm giving you time okay before that have a look on my ppt have a look so what is the mode of transmission say ma'am injection what is the infective form say quadrinucleate cyst acha puri life cycle is completed in one host man there is no intermediate host only one host man ha na kyunki puri life cycle mein we got only man there is no other animal there is no other vector there is not thing so write down man ha na so instead of drawing this circle better how i told you na drawing a human is better ha na You can appreciate the flask shape also. It's an image-based question. Images, देखो. Appreciate the flask here. Appreciate the flask here. Appreciate the flask here. Appreciate the. These all are flask. Appreciate the four layer: mucosa, submucosa, musculus propria, and serosa. Appreciate the flask. Say yes. Appreciate the flask. The same. Appreciate the flask. Say yes. Appreciate the layers. Flask shape also. Multi-key ki shape kal zaroga. Flask shape also. Very unique feature. Very unique. So till now we have three type of ulcers. Chalo revise karenge. You tell me longitudinal ulcers कहाँ होते हैं? You tell me transverse ulcers कहाँ होते हैं? And you tell me flask shape ulcers कहाँ होते हैं? तीनों PYQ हैं जी, तीनों। चलो बताओ कौन बताएगा? Flask shape just now I told you antimicrobial stylitica. Flask shape ulcer. Longitudinal like a tie, tie, typhoid याद आता है मुझे long से typhoid है ना? And transverse is tube, tube यानी TB. है ना? So transverse is TB. So three, all three are PYQ. Please learn it. है ना? So flask shape ulcers बताएं, है ना? चलो डिजीजेस इंटेस्टाइनल एक्स्ट्रा इंटेस्टाइनल इंटेस्टाइनल में डिजेंट्री होगा एंड एक्स्ट्रा इंटेस्टाइनल में लीवर इन्वॉल्व होगा सी एनकोवी सॉस एब्सेस अप्रिशिएट द ब्राउन कलर पस दिस इज एनकोवी सॉस एब्सेस एनकोवी सॉस एब्सेस है ना वी आर डन ओके एनीथिंग व्हिच इज गिवन इन योर चार्ट एंड नॉट हैव टॉट यू और एनीथिंग व्हिच गिवन इन द नोट्स सो वी आर डन विद द फर्स्ट पैरासाइट इन द सेम वे वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विद 19 मोर ओके गॉट इट एनीवन वांट एनी चेंज इन द मेथड ऑफ टीचिंग You can follow hmm? the same method. Chalo, read the question. Tell me the answer. Which of the following is true for the trophozoite of Antimeba histolytica? Which of the following is true? Hmm? Okay. Which of the following is true? It is has having a eccentric karyosome. Yes or no? Outer cytoplasm, uh, outer ectocytoplasm is granular. Yes or no? It show erythrophagocytosis. Yes or no? Or the bacteria are present inside the cell. Yes or no? Which of the following is true? People fast. Jaldi batao thoda. Very good, very good. It is showing erythrophagocytosis. The karyosome is there, but it is not eccentric. It is central. Ectoplasm is there, outer cytoplasm, but it is clear, not granular. Ha na? And bacteria are not present. Erythrophagocytosis is a unique feature, RBC in the parasite. So that is very unique and that is correct. So correct answer is B. Ha na? Read the question. Ha na? Ro question padh ke karna hai. Answer mujhe bhi pata hai. There is a 23 year old man presented with abdominal pain pehla clue hai abdominal pain bloody diarrhea dusra clue hai dysentery dysentery is always the clue hai na one week duration see the following diagram see the biopsy tell me the diagnosis the biopsy is unique 
The biopsy is typically showing, see the margin of the ulcer. It is typically showing star shape ulcer, it's amoebiasis. So correct answer is amoebiasis. Okay, G. Correct answer is amoebiasis. Okay, G. Hannah. So we are done with erythro uh, and amoeba histolytica. Can I start the next three? Can I start the next three? All of them are free living amoebas. I'm starting with Migleria of Novari. Then Akanthamoeba, then Balmutia. They're very small, hardly two, two minutes. Both chote chote se all of them are free living amoebas. Meri baat suno, meri baat suno. They all cause CNS infection. Okay? They all are brain eaters. Okay? They all are neuroparasites. They all are free living accidentally entering human body. Let's start with Migleria. Let's start with Nigleria flowery. Nigleria flowery. It is having only two forms, trophozoite and cyst. No pre-cyst. It is having trophozoite, number one. It is having cyst, number two. Trophozoite is of two types. One trophozoite is having pseudopodia, that is amoebic. Because amoeba shape. Hai. You can see it is amoeba shape. And one is having flagella. It is known as flagellate. So two types of flow, trophozoite. Amoebic trophozoite and flagellate trophozoite. Hana. That you have to learn. That's it. Or kuch nahi. Or cyst is there. Cyst mein nucleus yaad karni hai. Hamisha cyst mein just learn the number of the nucleus. Say it's uninucleate. Say it's uninucleate. Hai na? So please draw. Nigleria flowery wherever in your chart na. I may have given you the space. So draw the three diagram. Draw the trophozoid. Draw the cyst. Draw the two type of trophozoid. Amoeboid and flagellate. And draw one cyst. I want you to draw with me. Amoeboid you can draw any shape. It should be amoeba. Hai na? Flagellate mein it should have the flagella. Haan na, or cyst may it should be uninucleate. That's it. Itti se to banani hai cheez. Haan na, baaki sab kaam ka nahi hai. Jo kaam ka hai, us pe dhyan do. The point is that it is having a flagellated cyst. Flagella ki wajah se aati hai motility. So the cyst, the trophozoite is motile. The trophozoite is motile. Write down motile. Flagellated trophozoite ki wajah se write down motile word there. I want you to highlight the word motile trophozoite. So this one is having a motile trophozoite because the trophozoite is having flagella. Say yes, Lalit, Elizabeth, Saddam, Hani, huh? Sasika, you got it, everyone. Can we go? Hmm? So please highlight the word, uh, yeah, write down the word motile. Mode of transmission is very unique. It enters in human body via swimming. It enters in human body via swimming. Anna, do you swim? Swimming in the fresh water, not in the sea, not in marine water. Swimming in fresh, fresh water can be pond, leg, swimming pool, anywhere. Anna, but it should be fresh water body. It should not be sea. It should not be marine. I know. It is not there in sea or marine. Salty water. It is in fresh water. Okay. So that is the swimming. Via swimming, it enters via nose. So whenever we swim, it enters via nose. Who is the infective form? The amoeboid form of the trophozoid. It's trophozoid, not cyst. Form is cyst. Yeah, trophozoid. So see here, the trophozoid is entering inside the nose. Imagine. It, the water contains the trophozoid. And the trophozoid is entering from the nose. From the nose, it will go to the nasal mucosa. From the nasal mucosa, it will go to the cribriform plate. From the cribriform plate, it will go to olfactory nerve. And via olfactory nerve, it reaches the brain. It reaches the brain. Say yes. So first nose. Hai na? First nose. It enters from nose. Nose ke baad, cribriform plate. Cribriform plate ke baad, olfactory nerve. And olfactory nerve se hi jayega brain. Mein. So this is the root. From here to here. It's like this. Listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you something. I don't know whether you know or not. This is the brain. And our brain. In the brain, we have three managers. You may be knowing pyometer is the innermost, then arachnoid, then durameter. So in the brain, there are two things. If the brain ka inflammation, it is known as encephalitis. Encephalitis. And if the managers ka inflammation, it is known as meningitis. Meningitis. In the brain, there are two types of inflammation. This causes both. Currently, I'm interested for Nigleria flowery. So, Nigleria flowery causes meningitis as well as encephalitis. Got my point? So, it causes meningoencephalitis. What does it cause? Meningoencephalitis. So, it causes a disease which is known as, it's called Pame Gardena. It causes a disease known as Pame, primary amoebic meningoencephalitis. I want you to highlight meningitis as well as encephalitis. I want you to highlight it. It will give you a clue to, to you in the question. Meningoencephalitis. Dono cheese karta hai. Hana, primary amoebic meningoencephalitis. Hana, patient has seizures, patient have coma, patient have death. No treatment available. Okay, G. Hana. So that is the thing. That is the thing. Okay, read your chart. Anything additional is given. So read your chart. Tell me the morphological form. You will know. So Nigleria flowery we have completed. So tell me the morphological form. Do form batana hai morphology mein. One is trophozoite, one is cyst. Lekin trophozoite is of two types. So ye hui morphology. Tell me the mode of transmission. Hana, tell me life cycle mein host kitne hai. Hana, only definitive host is man, no intermediate host. So tell me the disease. Itta hai to batana hai, aur kya batana hai. Hana, so you know everything. So here trophozoid are of two type. Theek hai, one is amoebic and one is flagellate. Flagellate ki wajah se motility hai. Hana, cyst is uninucleate. Hana, mode of transmission is swimming. 
स्विमिंग और स्विमिंग में इंफेक्टिव फॉर्म क्या है इंफेक्टिव फॉर्म भी बताना है इट इज नॉट दिस्ट लाइक द प्रीवियस वन इट वॉज ईटिंग सिस्ट हियर इट्स ट्रोफोजाइट होस्ट इज ओनली मैन नो एनिमल होस्ट और डिजीज में ओनली वन डिजीज पामे वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ पामे हाँ प्राइमरी अमेबिक वो तो ठीक है मैनिंगो इंकेफ्लाइटिस में मैनिंगो इंकेफ्लाइटिस से यस पीपल से यस कुछ है एक्स्ट्रा चार्ट में कि क्या आगे बढ़ू एटलीस्ट फ्यू पीपल बी इंट्रैक्टिव जल्दी जल्दी बताओ कैन आई मूव देख लिया चार्ट में चलो द नेक्स्ट इज अकेंथमीबा हम तीनों के क्वेश्चन साथ में देखेंगे अकेंथमीबा एंड बालमोतियार एग्जैक्टली सेम ठीक है अकेंथमीबा अकेंथमीबा में वी हैव ओनली टू फॉर्म ट्रोफोजोइट एंड सिस्ट ठीक है ट्रोफोजोइट ट्रोफोजोइट इज नॉट ब्रांचिंग ट्रोफोजोइट में भी ना ये साइटोप्लाज्मिक एक्सटेंशन होते हैं लेकिन इट इज ओन एज अकेंथोपोडिया इट इज नॉट सूडोपोडिया इट इज अकेंथोपोडिया है ना और सिस्ट इज यूनिन्यूक्लियट कुछ खास नहीं है मतलब है ना ठीक है मोड ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन इज इनहेलेशन इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द डस्ट है ना तो ट्रोफोजोइट इज प्रेजेंट इन द डस्ट सो ट्रोफोजोइट प्रेजेंट इन द डस्ट गो इन साइट इट विल गो इन द नोज इट विल गो इन द ट्रेकिया इट विल गो इन द ब्रॉन्काय इट विल गो इन द लंग फ्रॉम द लंग इट विल गो इन द ब्लड इट विल गो इन द ब्लड फ्रॉम द ब्लड इट विल गो इन द ब्रेन इन द ब्रेन इट इन्वॉल्व ओनली इन केफलाइटिस नो मैनेजाइटिस ओनली इन केफलाइटिस नो मैनेजाइटिस माइंड माई वर्ल्ड that was causing both this one causing only encephalitis that was entering via swimming from the nose this is via inhalation via dust ha na so root is entirely different wahan pe bhi ek hi host man yahan pe bhi ek hi host man say yes so inhalation of the dust it will go to the lung ha na from the lung to the blood from the blood to the brain ha na brain may it causes encephalitis only encephalitis no meningitis in the brain multiple granulomas are formed like the tb multiple granulomas it is known as granulomatic amoebic encephalitis you can learn gai granulomatous amoebic encephalitis theek hai from the blood it is going to the brain also and eyes also in the eyes it causes keratitis in the eyes it is going in the eyes also from the from the blood to brain and eye so brain and eye both are involved brain and eye both are involved okay got it ha na so that is the thing the next is balmuthia balmuthia is exactly same exactly same the trophozoid is branching you can see its branches are there branching Write the word branching. Trophozoite is branching. Cyst is uninucleate. Cyst is uninucleate. Ha na? And the exactly same life cycle as that of um, uh, acanthamoeba. It also enters via inhalation. Ha na? Like this only. This is same. This is same for Balmuthia and uh, acanthamoeba. Do no kiliya same hai. Say yes. Say yes. So ultimately you have to learn it. Ultimately you have to learn it, and you have to tell me the answers. ठीक है? चलो पूरे answers बताओगे. The four parasites are done. बीस में से चार हो गए. Congratulation. ठीक है. You will tell me. So first, you tell me Antamoeba histolytica, then Nigleria flavari, then Acanthamoeba and Balmuthia. Okay, Antamoeba histolytica, Nigleria flavari, Acanthamoeba and Balmuthia. Whatever headings given to you, that's what I am writing only. And now, without looking at your chart, charts, बिना देखे मुझे बताओ सब. So first, आपको मुझे सबका morphological forms बनवाने हैं. You have to help me to draw the diagrams here, morphology. Then you have to tell me the mode of transmission. Then you have to tell me the infective form. Then you have to tell me the host. Life cycle में सिर्फ host याद करना है. Who's asking? Medico. सिर्फ host याद करना है. पूरी life cycle नहीं करना है. Definitive host कौन है? Intermediate कौन है? I'm telling you the life cycle so that you can learn. मैं directly बता दूँगा तो कुछ नहीं समझेगा. But now you can learn. है ना? And you have to tell me the disease. है ना? And diagnosis जहाँ important है सिर्फ वहीं बताना है. चलो. Who will help me? Parallel भरेंगे. Who will help me? हाँ. चलो. यहाँ पे we have trophozoite, precyst and cyst. ठीक है? यहाँ we have only trophozoite and cyst. Only trophozoite and cyst. Only trophozoite and cyst. We don't have precyst anywhere else. I'm trying to draw. Yaka trophozoite is amoeba shape, having ectoplasm, having endoplasm, having a wheel-like nucleus, having RBC in the endoplasm. Erythrophagocytosis. Whatever important message, वो दिखाऊंगी diagram में. मुझे पूरा neat and clean diagram नहीं बनाना है five marks का labeled. मुझे सिर्फ identify करना है. Precyst is same. है ना? Cyst is quadrinucleate. One, two, three, four. ठीक है? Here we have two type of trophozoite. You can draw, है ना? ये है आपका amoeba shape और ये है flagella, flagellated. And cyst is uninucleate. ठीक है? Here we have acanthopodia. ठीक है? And here we have branching. Branching is there. Branching. Trophozoite में. Cyst is uninucleate. Cyst is uninucleate. This is what I am expecting you to draw or you to learn or whatever. I want you to keep it in mind so that image based question come you can identify. Say yes. Everyone say yes. Tell me the mode of transmission. Chalo. Antamoeba histolytica eating. Ingestion. Ingestion. Theek hai. Nigleria flavari. Swimming. Via swimming it enters. And the remaining two. Akanthamoeba and Balmuthia. Inhalation. And inhalation. 
ओके हां जी कंपेयर इन योर चार्ट्स ठीक है इनफैक्ट ये फॉर्म बोलो मुझे सबका इज इट ट्रोपोजोइड और ट्रीसिस्ट और सिस्ट सी मैम इट्स सिस्ट इट्स सिस्ट rather it's quadrinucleate cyst to be specific to be specific to be specific here it's trophozoite 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 compare here it is cyst the remaining three are trophozoite okay ji hai na host in all of them in all of them host is only one man the definitive host is man 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 there is no intermediate host in any of them so all of them have simple life cycle direct life cycle not complex Not complex. ठीक है जी चलिए diseases बताइए सबकी यहाँ पे we have two diseases. Intestinal amebiasis, extra intestinal amebiasis और extra hepatic भी होती है ठीक है you know ये the symptoms here flash shape pulses है abdominal pain, diarrhea, dysentery. यहाँ पे anchovy sauce ठीक है you know the symptoms. यहाँ पे disease है पामे यहाँ पे disease है गाई और यहाँ पे disease है गाई लेकिन यहाँ पे गाई के साथ keratitis भी है आई भी इन्वॉल्व होगी बाकी तीनों में ओनली ब्रेन है से दुल फॉर्म पीपल पामे में मैनिंगो इनकेफलाइटिस है सो मैनिजाइटिस इनकेफलाइटिस बोथ दैट यू हैव टू हाईलाइट यहां पे ओनली इनकेफलाइटिस ओनली इनकेफलाइटिस ठीक है प्राइमरी अमीबिक मैनिंगो इनकेफलाइटिस ग्रैनुलर अमीबिक ग्रैनुलोमेटस अमीबिक इनकेफलाइटिस ग्रैनुलोमेटस अमीबिक इनकेफलाइटिस यहां पे केरेटाइटिस भी है ठीक है सैंपल बोलो डायग्नोसिस के लिए सैंपल बोलो सो हियर फॉर इंटेस्टाइनल अमीबियासिस वी टेक स्टूल एंड फॉर एक्सटर्नल इंटेस्टाइनल वी टेक द लीवर एस्पिरेट liver abscess aspirate here we take csf here we take csf here we take csf and now with your brain you just apply in which specimen you will get trophozoite you will get cyst jo bhi milega samajh mein aaye ke baad chalo bata deti hu theek hai stool mein you get both trophozoite and cyst liver aspirate mein you get only trophozoite hai na and here you get only trophozoite only trophozoite only trophozoite in the csf you get trophozoites okay ji khatam kare kahani sab thumbs up do jitne audience live hai give me a thumbs up or write down that you got it or write down something that i can know that this is your gesture and you got it shall i proceed four are done ultimately you have to learn this don't learn the life cycle completely learn the table whatever i have given you 100% question will be from this that is my guarantee but if i taught teach you only the tables na it will be done in one hour ek ghante mein class khatam meri bhi chutti tumhari bhi but you will not matlab understand anything so this is why we have to go in the detail but ultimately learn to itna hi karna i'm telling you the details so that you can retain but don't learn extra anything okay ji you got the way theek hai no it is not seen in balnothia keratitis is seen only in acanthema whatever written is absolutely true okay okay ji okay gokul you are asking constantly for the break why don't you have a cup of tea <laughs> okay listen 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 okay i will give you the break uh let's solve two three question on this and let's take a break chalo there is a 30 year old patient having features of meningo encephalitis take the clue take the clue take the clue meningo encephalitis both meningitis encephalitis csf show a motile unicellular organism i am having two clues here what is the answer medico answer is a yes why not b my point is why not b why not b there are two clues because uh, this one causes both meningo encephalitis this cause only encephalitis hai na and here the trophozoite is motile because it is having flagellated uh, flagellated trophozoite here the trophozoite is non motile so in the question we have two clues number one meningo encephalitis both and number two the motile motile organism bhi to sabse bada clue hai ha na got it my point yes that is causing guy that is first clue ha na and motile is also clue everyone got it coming to the next question which of the following is true for nigleria flavari is it living in the fresh water hot spring salty water or desert ka rehta hai nigleria flavari स्विमिंग से आता है कौन सा वाटर फ्रेश वाटर आई टोल्ड यू इट्स फ्रेश वाटर है ना इट्स फ्रेश वाटर स्विमिंग प्लीज लर्न द फ्रेश वाटर ठीक है यस सो लेट्स टेक अ ब्रेक एंड आफ्टर द ब्रेक आई विल स्टार्ट विद द फ्लैजिलेट्स आई वांट यू फुल एनर्जी ब्रेक इसलिए लेट देती हूं कि एनर्जी खत्म हो जाती है तुम्हारी ब्रेक के बाद एनर्जी उतनी ही चाहिए है ना इफ यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग माय एनर्जी टू बी दिस लेवल ठीक है यू हैव टू बी सेम सो फ्लैजिलेट्स आई हैव टू टीच यू फाइव फ्लैजिलेट्स फाइव मिनट ऑन ईच सो मे बी 30 मिनट्स लगेंगे फ्लैजिलेट्स को कंप्लीट करने में 30 35 minutes questions bhi hote hain na fir theek hai so amoebas are done and now flagellates and here also we require 30 minute plasmodium is very big 30 so next one hour mein we are going to complete protozoa theek hai and then we will take a coffee break and then we will start the matters of the last session theek hai chalo ji ha na so let's take a break i will have my lunch also during this break so it's 12 um, 25 right now so let's start at uh, 
140 directly because it is a lunch break also. I'm not going to give any break after that. Maybe at four o'clock we will take a small coffee break or whenever I feel drowsy after that. So 140, 140 is good to go. Huh? 140, huh? Or let's start at 145, quarter to two. 145. Okay, break. Okay, lunch break. Have your lunch. Don't expect that you will get lunch for lunch. This is the lunch break only. Okay, ji. bye. So 145. 